So welcome to the stream today, everyone who's on Twitch, anyone who's going to be joining us and watching the replay later on YouTube. Today, we're doing the promised game from the last stream, which is Venice OCC, One City Challenge. So <laughs> Venice is restricted to doing One City Challenges. So, I mean, we're not going to sound, I guess, you know, Venice OCC is what it is. Like you're going to, it's One City is Venice. We will perhaps use the Merchant of Venice abilities as Venice. Not entirely sure yet, but we're going Venice. We're going Deity Difficulty, Standard Map Size on Archipelago. With strategic balance resources we'll try not to screw ourselves if we're gonna have one city let's at least make sure it's got horses and iron you know <laughs> let's at least have some of the minimum and then we'll go an archipelago so not entirely sure what we'll do but this is definitely what we're going to do as venice so let's kick the game off so venice's abilities then venice has serenissima they cannot gain settlers or annex cities they get a double the number of trade routes available and a merchant of venice appears after researching optics may purchase in puppeted city states so the merchant of venice is a great merchant replacement it allows you to puppet a city state as venice bringing them under control and then they actually have this great galleas which is a better galleas that's kind of cool um you can use it i think it's a stronger galleas i don't know if it costs more to build i can't remember it might be cheaper not entirely sure but it's a better galleas so maybe we'll kill something with that anyway we are venice and here's what we've been dealt we only have one sea resource four civil service farms a deer two truffles and this silver horses are probably going to come down in here somewhere iron will come down in here somewhere so let's see what's going on and um, we'll kick off the game it's good that we've got we've got all of this grassland because we might be able to crunch a wonder out as venice that would be kind of cool anyway let's get into chat so zenta says spam trade routes absolutely um bon voyage says what does occ stand for occ stands for one city challenge it's where you can only have your original starting city basically um we might not occ it yet we we probably will use our merchant of venice to buy one extra city state to send trade routes to our capital but for all intents and purposes, we're... Well, I mean, we can't claim a new city. So that's what we're going to be doing. Zensa says, is buying city-states even worth it? So it is because of the power of coastal internal trade routes. We can make Venice grow absolutely massive off the back of cargo ships. So that's what we're going to be trying to do in this game. And that's what we'll do with our Merchant of Venice. We'll probably go early market and get a second one too. Just so that we can get another one as a, one of those internal food trade routes. Um, you know... DJ might join the stream at some point and try and coach us on how to do Venice, who knows. And then Tantastic says, just in time for a fresh start. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, Tantastic. I really didn't intend to be bringing this game today, but we're kind of disappointed that the multiplayer game finished early in the scrap. So we're going to be doing Venice OCC. It should be a quick one, so I should have time for it. We'll do it. Hopefully it'll be about two hours, two, two and a half hours to finish this game off. We'll do some good exploration. We're playing standard map size and we'll try and win. We might lose, yeah, as Venice it's pretty difficult, but we might go Diplo or something. Anyway, there's no reason to move this, so we'll just kind of explore around. Unless chat wants to vote for a re, we will probably just go this. I mean, it's not the best start in the world for sure, but we will get horses. We will get iron, probably right on this desert tile for the iron, I guess. And then, you know, we'll have an okay capital and we'll see what it does. Probably to try and, tra try and take freedom. So let's plant it. We have what we have. Let's go for it. What the deer. And we will go... Probably only one. I mean, it might even be worth going Monument straight away. This is Archipelago after all. We don't really need the Scout right now. And then we'll go straight to Pottery. I'm going to try this. We're going to go Monument straight away. Like, who needs a Scout? There's a Ruin. We'll probably find everything we need just with our one Warrior. This would have been a nice island to actually not be playing OCC. 100 gold, nice. That could buy us a decent tile. We don't have any decent tiles to purchase. But it's the start of the Venice gold. The Venice gold boom, you know. We'll get this tile eventually too. We're going to pop two in Venice. We need to keep growing. Finish the monument. Probably get started on worker. Three turns until we can do something. I don't know if we open traditional or whether or not we do dabble in another tree. In fact, I'm pretty sure it has to be tradition because DJ told us earlier that he usually goes on to try and kill barbs and get that extra culture. But we're on archipelago, so it probably doesn't mean anything. We need to try and get into optics straight away, but let's reveal some of our good tiles first. So we'll go pottery into animal husbandry. Looks like we've only got one ruin on our island. So 
Yeah. Um, Zensa says, Venice to Liberty. Duh. You know what, actually, Zensa? Finishing Liberty gives us a free great person, which could be a merchant of Venice. Get us our second, <laughs> second great merchant, perhaps. We need to get National College ASAP. We've grown to this silver already. That's good. Need lighthouses too. Well, let's let's reveal horses and then we'll think about what we do. We need to get shrine up. Granary would be kind of cool as Venice, but we've got a little bit to wait for tradition. This worker, we probably want to chop stuff to start. So this is grassland deer. We probably don't want to chop that because... Yeah, we probably don't want to chop the grassland deer because we're actually going to need all the production we can get on this island. Let's not take wonder production just yet, in case we need it. We've got animal husbandry now. We need to push for National College. But it's probably not worth giving it... Oh, look, we can't even chop because we've <laughs> we've not got mining. Let's just go over here and build a farm then. Only one ruin on our island, unfortunately. Venice grows. More food. We're going to get these horses, so that's where our horses are. Sadly, we've only got one horses. Just build a farm. And then when we uh, when we finish building this farm, we go chop something down. We'll chop out the granary. We've grown to horses now. That's brilliant. We can use those next. Growth is pretty slow right now. We need this granary to get the growth going. We need optics. We can't do a lot with the Merchant of Venice yet. But we do need optics. Let's Do we reveal iron first? Probably reveal iron before going into sailing. Yeah, so we got nothing now. So we just bring this warrior back. Just make sure barbs don't spawn on our island or something. AI's already got desert folklore. Tuntastic says, what on earth is this map? <laughs> Lol face. This is Archipelago, Tuntastic. We are Venice Archipelagoing. So this is what Archipelago does. Let's get our free... We've already built a monument. So we could, I guess we go working for the free amphitheatre. We'll get iron working and then we'll go straight for optics for our Merchant of Venice, perhaps. Start chopping down forests. We'll just save gold by sitting in Venice for now. I mean, barbs can spawn here, but we don't even really care about it. Turn 19, Great Library. We had no hope of that. We couldn't even research Great Library in that amount of time. You know what, actually, we don't need one gold per turn. Let's make sure barbs don't spawn. I just spoke about that, but let's make sure it doesn't happen. We're gonna get our granary up. Uh, let's get this silver up now. Grow in two. Can we grow in one? We need one food for it. So no, we can't. That's unfortunate. Yeah, let's make barbs don't spawn. Make sure barbs don't spawn up there. Granary's done. We're gonna need a scout at some point. Probably actually better to be a. We're also gonna need a second worker. Let's get the second worker now while we're here. And then we need to actually probably go writing for the library. Because I've just remembered actually. So usually when you're playing Civ, you know you get taught a lot of stuff about when to build your libraries and all of that. Basically, um, li the more cities you own, the less useful it is to build an early library. Oh, brilliant. And this is our iron too. That's excellent. We actually need to keep growing for a bit. We don't have any buildings to build right now, so let's not worry about it. Yeah, so the... Um, oh, I'm good. We've got iron out here on a Tundra tile too. Yeah, so the more cities you own, the less useful building a, li building a library and getting the National College is worth it. Basically, the... Um, it's just because of the fact that more of your science is coming from your capital when you have fewer cities, which means that National College is a bigger deal when you have fewer cities because your capital is building... You know, low, you know, it's basically contributing a bigger proportion of your science. So we actually need to go writing right now to get ourselves a library. Then we'll think about perhaps sailing, although we don't perhaps, we don't even really need sailing yet. We've got the second worker now. Let's go cut these truffles down. And then with this, let's go try and chop out some more forest. Or maybe improve the horses. we got the worker. Let's get a spear. We'll go writing and then we'll grab sailing and then we'll think about where we need to go next. And then let's get these horses up. And chop this down. We've got a Pantheon. What do we want to take? Oddly enough, I think as Venice, we perhaps want growth rate. 
I mean, we've got no hope of getting a religion whatsoever. So we can't do that. We could we we can't really benefit a lot from pantheons because pantheons are all just better the more cities you have. Food from camps. We're going to get three camps. Oh, food from camps might be good. 10% faster growth rate doesn't seem particularly good. Food from camps feels better. Let's take food from camps. And then I guess we'll try and get camp tech. Then yeah, Venice borders grew. And we're going to grow. We're on production focus. That's fine. Fantastic. So, so what's the deal with Venice? Unable to settle new cities, but can take control of city states using gold. So we really need three, some three food tiles at this point, to be honest. Let's just keep our growth rate up a bit at least. Um, so Venice. So the deal with Venice is that they cannot settle new cities. Uh, so let's have a look at their ability right here. So their ability is this one, Serenissima. Cannot gain settlers nor annex cities. Double the number of normal trade routes available. A merchant of Venice appears after researching optics. May purchase in pocketed cities. So what is a merchant of Venice? It is a great merchant replacement. I honestly don't know where we find it on here at all. But basically the merchant of Venice allows you to puppet city-states. That's what it does. So that's the deal. So Venice doesn't take control of city-states using gold. That's actually Austria's ability. Venice's ability is to use great merchants to take control of city-states. So we've hit writing. We've got our spearman up now. Let's get a library. Let's get a three food tile up. We do need to keep chopping at some point. In fact, we should probably chop for the library. Let's keep the spearman inside the city for safekeeping. There goes the great lighthouse. We can't even build that of all things. We're just trying to work maximum food in Venice right now to get ourselves as big as possible. We could really do with going National College though. But we, we need a trireme to go meet the world. And brilliant, more growth rate. Land of Elite. Um, fantastic says, I take it the Merchant of Venice is single use. Yes, the Merchant of Venice is indeed single use. We actually are kind of going to need our spearman over here. Yeah, so the Merchant of Venice is indeed a single use thing. Um, you use it, it goes away. Otherwise, it would be totally OP. You know, you can imagine how ridiculous that would be. All of these wonders are gone before we've even got the chance to build any of them. This thing, I mean, we should probably just take motions here and then drop back. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, drop back here. We accidentally moved this worker. Temple of Artemis goes. We didn't even have a chance at that. 31 turns is too soon for us to be able to do anything. Uh, take that down and just heal. Finish this. Cool. So we've got some more food in Venice now. We've actually expanded to this iron out here. That's good. That's going to be one food, two production. Once we get it improved with the mine, it's going to be one food, three production with a forge. So we'll happily... No, we happily take this, even though it's on a Tundra tile. And we actually get a second Lighthouse tile too in Venice, which is pretty cool. I didn't notice that yet, but that's actually really cool. Let's just get some more food up. Let's heal for a bit. Bring this into the city. We're going to grow again, but we've got our production focus sorted. We need to get some camps. Philosophy's a long way away. So let's take Trapping and then go into Philosophy. Parthenon goes already. This is insane deity strats there. The deity AI is just absolutely killing it right now. Oh, we finished this forest, but we didn't have anything to build yet. Let's get a workboat. Or a trireme to meet the world, actually. We need that. Start putting food down here. We'll put some food down here, too. And slam that down now. Kill it. Then we'll get our triarine to meet the rest of the world. And then perhaps we'll go work boat. Or maybe second triarine. Second triarine sounds good, actually. It gives us a science boost to meet all of the AI early. So we want that. Go work some more food now to grow Venice. We're going to grow in five turns. That's pretty slow. But I guess it's what we've been dealt at some point. We're getting all of the growth rate we possibly can now. We need to go civil service first, I believe. And then we can go get these camps up. Uh, heal. See what else we can find. Discovered a ruin. Which means we need to go researching the world. We did actually want a spearman for that. That's what our spearman was for. The warrior can do that, actually. Oh, we don't have optics yet. That's why we've not used it. We can station a unit out here. We'll make an archer or something to handle all of this eventually. It's another trireme. Now, uh, what, are, what other buildings do we have? A circus. We don't really need to build the circus yet, so let's just get camps for our pantheon. 
And then we found some ruins, so we can go go and get those. Another food tile available to us. And actually bring the growth down a bit by doing this. Oh, we should have slammed that to death. Oracle goes as well. No hope of getting that. All of the classic wonders that everybody says the dirty AI doesn't prioritize are all already gone. GG. Okay, let's keep scouting. See if we can find. It would be really annoying if we're blocked in right now. That would be really punishing for us. Need to work this. We need to stop losing gold. There goes the mausoleum as well. Our wonders are going like crazy right now. Oh, Kathmandu, hello. Okay, we finally found our first AI. We're gonna get we're gonna get our trying hit by this hand axe if we do anything there, so let's not move. Venice screw again, yep. Yeah. Horse tile that we're working. We do definitely need to get are we gonna finish a camp this turn? No. That's gonna fix our gold problem. We're gonna get this work boat down. We need optics. Philosophy still 10 turns, so let's go optics into philosophy. Don't know if this is a bad idea yet. No, we don't want to war them. Let's move around here. White boat down. Fishing boat. So that's another three food tile. Got this camp up now, so we can get some more food out of the city. Oh, we've got a bit. Why can't we assign our citizens? Okay, here we go. Just a bit of lag. So that's a really nice tile to be working. And then we can now get past with this. Yeah, we're going to need an archer to handle this. We'll just come back. We can't get an archer yet, though, can we? No, we don't even really have any use for a cargo ship. A third trireme could be kind of handy. So could a scout. Let's get a scout. And we can send that off to meet the world, too. Might actually want to build another work boat to get this fisher work boat on straight away. Every inch of food will be meaningful in this game. Let's go get this iron up. We'll just, like, stand here with the hand axe. Okay. We actually kind of need archery to handle that barb camp. Or two spears. Don't really want to slow optics down yet. Oh, we got this camp up and we didn't work it. That's a mistake. Let's see if we can. Yeah, bring over one of these. We got our scout. More ruins. We're going to want to go definitely jump in all of these ruins when we get the chance. And get another camp on this deer. Fine, we'll get another spearman. We need to handle these barbarians that are coming. We need to meet an AI and we haven't yet. So we can start selling this iron to them. Go hang in Venice to save a little bit of gold per turn. I'm not entirely sure why we haven't managed to meet an AI yet. Venice demands furs. We'll have to make sure to try and get the We Love the King's Days in Venice too. There goes Petra. There's like one desert hill. And double slam that. Need to find a way out to meet some more AI. We've struggled to find them so far. Keep working on this camp. We're going to grow in one. Then we're going to get optics so we can start on a lighthouse. Okay. So lighthouse up. National College. We can see we're already suffering a little bit in science. And we got our merchant of Venice. Okay. Can we, should we take over a city-state? We need to see if Prague is worth it. So let's get our scout out. Let's get this spearman out. Get the Merchant of Venice out into the water. And let's see what we can do. And then we can use a cargo ship in order to feed the capital. Lost has been built on a faraway land. Oh, Prague is definitely the play. I think we need Prague. Let's all get in the water. 
Don't really want to go near this camp just in case we get our merchant of Venice shot. That would be bad. Still no AIs. We're perhaps researching too close to ourselves, but... Oh, Japan, hello. Embassies, let's see what the world is like. Oh, no, we haven't put our own embassy in. We've met him, but... Oh, because I've got a multiplayer score list on. It's, uh... There we go. Diplomacy list. Okay, so we've met Japan, and we can actually trade our truffles to him. We should do that. Make sure we keep our gold return up. More truffles down there. So maybe a city-state will acquire our regional luxury, which would be pretty good. We can chop this forest down now, but do we want to? Because we might need the lumber mill. I think we're going to need the lumber mill. Let's keep the spearman going. Oh no, we're going to get a shot. We're going to get a shot. I hope we haven't just sacrificed our merchant of Venice. I feel like these things are supposed to be able to take a hit. Ouch. I think we're safe though. <laughs> oh, that could have been really embarrassingly bad. We don't need monarchy right now. We do probably want wonder production. And let's heal. Let's make sure we don't get anything happen to our merchant of Venice. We found another archer. The scout needs to go somewhere else. Ruin. Okay. Spear just upgraded. We have a pikeman. <laughs> cool. That's kind of good. We could definitely do with a pike. Venice now has a lighthouse. Let's get a cargo. And let's purchase this. Just what a maximum food. Is there something better we can do with this? I guess not. We need a white boat too. We perhaps don't enough, have enough triremes. No. And bring the Merchant of Venice over to Prague. Oh, this is totally worthless going up there. Let's just come back. Oh, we're going to take another hit. Get the, sp the pike into the water. Yeah, what do we do? Six turn growth. I guess we need more food. Let's keep Venice growing as much as we can. How are we doing in tech? 13% behind? This spear is coming in for us again. We need to come out here and then just sit. There's not really a lot up there. Alright, how does this Merchant of Venice thing work? Buy city-state. Or conduct trade mission for gold. I guess we buy a city-state. They've got gold, that's extra stuff. Already pop seven. Hello! Cool. So we've got Prague, and the Prague is going to starve. Really? Prague's going to starve? Yeah. Man, that's unfortunate. Have we got workers over here too? Yeah, we do have workers, some combos, a load of stuff. So Prague is ours. These archers again. I keep doing that. We knew they were there as well. Okay, Prague didn't start. We already lost our scout. We can take that down. We we'll bring the pipe down. Pipe down because we need to handle this camp. Well, at least we have like nine million triremes to protect our seas, which is what we want if we're going to be doing this cargo. We need to bring this over because we're, gonna, we're clearly going to get that tile pillaged. Let's get out of here with this trireme. And then we'll use some of these other triremes to go meet the rest of the world, perhaps. So we need to take down this camp. And we can do it on that tile. Let's go there. And this comp goes inside the city. And this just improved a banana, which is quite good. This jungle probably needs to stay a jungle, so we'll leave it there for now.
Yeah, let's keep the worker inside Prague. No need to do anything fancy. In fact, I know what we can do is we can chop down some of those jungle over there. Don't know if we can get through by Kathmandu. Let's check it out. I don't actually remember if we can. We need to come down this way. And this cargo is done. So let's go send it to Prague. Then it can get sent back. Yeah, the Spearman's doing some not nice stuff to us. And we can just protect our area here. This one also needs to protect our area, perhaps. And then we need to meet the world with the rest of the stuff that we've got. This one's not useful being here. The worker can wait. Okay, we've finished philosophy. Let's get archery now. We want an archer. And build the National College for seven turns in Venice. We've got a granary in Prague. We do. We've actually got a free monument from them as well. Which is good. Oh, nope. A barbed trireme is here. So we cannot send that this turn. We need to wait a turn. That's unfortunate. We're actually going to get another copy of our regional here, which is quite good. In for book arrest. Yeah, where do we have this warrior? Yeah, let's take cover. And then we can go repair this tile. We didn't really need to do anything with it anyway. No, we can't get through over there, unfortunately. This trireme really does need to heal. Let's bring it home. Oh, okay, there's that barb. Okay, what text do we want now? The wheel for a water mill? And then we need that archer to, or like comp bow or something to handle this camp. Could use one of Prague's stuff. Prague's composite bowman, I guess, once we're done using it. There's the barb being sneaky over there. Take that down. Then let's just do something like this. And stand right in front of the camp so we can start sending this cargo ship. No, no, we can't. We can't be, we can't be done with that. Not yet. Let's see if there's anyone through here. We know where Japan and the Iroquois are. They're miles away from us. It feels like there should be someone closer. I don't know if the Colossus is gone yet. We could do a civil service for more growth. The Hanging Gardens is already gone. A stable would be kind of nice. We don't have any need for masonry or composite bowmen. I don't know if the Colossus is gone. don't remember. Let's check some of the AI that we've met at least. The Colossus. Let's try it, I guess. Then what does Venice need to do? We're working max food still. We're just unhappy. Why do we go unhappy? Oh. In that case, well, I guess we need the circus. 18 turns until the tradition finisher. Seems a bit much. Okay, we're unhappy for a moment. We're just going to have to deal with that. Build a four turn circus here. Because right, we're unhappy, we need to stop working all this food. We can still obviously continue working some food. But let's just switch to production everything that really makes a difference. Like that. And then make sure that we're working tiles with at least on one food on, which we are. Get down here. Around here. Got this back. Comes home. Now we can start shooting this camp. Now we need to stay there for a moment. This cargo still can't go anywhere. Not until we take the camp down to make sure the barbs can't come out. Boarding party. We'll send this back to heal though. We only need one try room there. This try room can come there too. We'll just chop down these two jungles. Start trying to take down this camp. See if we can meet any more AIs around here. Don't 
kind of regretting trading away our luxury to Iroquois right now. Yeah, but we can grow Venice again. Return national. Go back to working food. Promoting this unit. Yeah, okay, we'll get like boarding party as well. Don't know where that trireme went. We need to find it. There it is. Venice is Prague is still starving. Really? Uh. We're losing population, not gaining population right now. I mean, there's not a lot we can do about the fact that Prague is starving. Okay, now we need to take this thing out. And then we can safely send this cargo to Venice. Are we starving again? No, few. Okay, the next cargo, maybe we need to send it to Prague or something. Now, this city should not be starving at all. heel in the face of that or something. There goes Chichen Itza. Venice grew again. Keep working food. Still no more AI. This is crazy. We can perhaps get the NC out next turn. No, we can't. Let's just keep doing this. We still need that archer to try and handle our own area. Don't know where we got this extra happiness from. We only got one circus. Unless our city state built anything for us. Okay, our triremes are back and healed. I really need to go over there. Is the Colossus still here? No, no, it's not. It's gone. Oh, well. What else do we try? Civil service for sure. So this one up here, this trium up here is kind of pointless. I don't know where else we send it. We need to maintain vision on this one tile specifically. There's America. Nice. The people of the United it's taken States us a long time to meet AIs, but I'm glad we're finally here. And then he also Very wants well. iron. Very well. We actually need to trade it for salt. All right. And then we can trade away iron with the Iroquois. I'm guessing the AI are finding at the time where they're building swordsmen and stuff. Take shot and then heal. Heal all of this stuff up again. I mean, this probably does, even though it's a bit pointless sort of doubling up, we need to bring everything down here that we can to try and move around and chop this down too, so we can get some border expansions of this last copy of our regional. We'll bring this out to block because we need to heal this one. Okay, so the National College is done. It feels very, it feels like we should build a cargo. Maybe we can start trying to churn GPT or something. We need to try and get friendships. So, I don't know how we start working on that. Perhaps we just start giving stuff away to the AI. But we definitely need to get on the friendship train at some point. This is a bit pointless down here. Let's see what's up there. Right, hello. Oh, Antwerp. Wow, right in the corner. And let's heal there, sleep there. Settler in there. I wonder whose that is. Then a screw again. Probably don't need to be going much food right now. Let's get it down to four turn growth, but let's take the hammers. 
What are we actually getting from Prague? A little bit of science, some stuff. I guess we'll send it a cargo or something. Sweden, hello. Främling, välkommen till snökungens rik. Actually, there's no way we need to be sending our own cities to a cargo ship. Put some food there. We're running out of tiles. More things coming. We've got like two camps or something now. Swiss past here. That's Japan's, unfortunately. Oh, Baron's Crater. Nice. So we got our national college up, so hopefully our science is speeding up a little bit. We can need to keep growing Venice, which means we need to get a market out as soon as possible and get ourselves another merchant. I guess we probably just... Um, we go and grab one of these city-states. Glad we're finally moving. So we got this cargo. Don't, Kathmandu doesn't seem to be in danger, so why don't we get this growth, this gold going? Ouch. This took a beating. And we need this, like, archer or whatever it is that we wanted to build. Okay, anyway. Um, Tantastic says, is there ever a way to annex your city state? Or even can you snipe another Sif settler? Haha. <laughs> yeah, so, um, first things first. Other Sif settlers, they always turn into workers when you take them. That's even, like, you know, normal games and stuff that actually happens. So... That's not something we can do. Um, and then Venice's ability right here literally says um, they cannot gain settlers. So there's no way to like, and you cannot annex cities. So unfortunately, there's no way to do it. We're just kind of stuck with whatever we've got. I need to heal this warrior. We're kind of being barbarian pillaged right now and it's not fun. Yeah, and we'll just sleep up there on our truffles. We've chopped this down now. So eventually the city sets borders will grow there. And we can just bring this back. And sitting there waiting for lumber mills. We've got currency. Which means we do want civil service next for these civil service farms. So what do we build? We need to get a market. Work the slot and then a water mill. But yes, unfortunately we can't snipe another city settler. Nor can we annex our city states. So they just are what they are. This is why Venice is one city. One city all the way. I mean, apparently we were working some tiles that we can no longer use. Yeah, this arch can hopefully start trying to help make make us a dent, though. Can we come back and get this? No. Okay. Can't believe we're dealing with barbarian problems like this. Let's go up and see what's going on around here. We need to go jump in all those ruins we saw. We're going to need, like, a pike for that. It's this one. And now we've had our luxury pillaged. It's funny, you think going one city challenge, the game will get made a lot easier for you. But, you know, there's so... It's funny how much you need to kind of prioritise in your capital sometimes. Anyway, we'll go get that lux back. We grew in Venice, we'll work that. We've been a bit pillaged up, but that's okay. We'll keep working the gold. Then this way I can just go stand in Prague. We need to get the city states and buildings to build for us. See if there's anything up here. No, just a camp. Yeah, we'll take another hit on that trying, but that's okay. And we can go deal with this barb camp finally. Station something out there so we don't get bothered by it again. We need to heal these first. Just sleep there. We'll, we'll use you when we need to use you. And let's get this pikeman doing something useful. We can actually still see this tile right now. Maybe if we do this, we'll be able to see it better. Barbs can't spawn there. So the only place Barbs can spawn and come harass us is there. We need to make sure we handle that. Let's just heal this thing. Keep it in the action. Sleep over there for now. We can't hit the end until someone gets education. And then we can start passing through other people's territory. We might need one more trireme just to patrol the sea. Fantastic says, this seems just like pure punishment. It is pure punishment for sure. We are, we're a little bit on the struggle bus, but we're okay. Not going to say things are going great, but you know what? I mean, we're, we're venicing. 
America's land, Seattle. Yeah, we're stuck down here. Looks like we can't get past. Our Humbra's already gone. We're gonna get this water mill up. We're gonna get civil servant service in four turns as well. It's pretty cool. Get our locks back. Let's move this pike down to try and jump into some ruins. Ah, oh, Hong Kong. Hello. Can we get past Japan here? We can. Brilliant. Let's get out of Kyoto at least. And we can finally finish tradition with monarchy. So that's gold per turn. And yeah, America now. We can't get past America. Just heal this thing. If that bar wants to slam us, it can slam us. Okay. So. Can we... Do we have any more trade routes that we can actually send to people? Not right now. We're going to need a harbour at some point. But we can't do anything right now. Mint would be gold per turn. Stable would be production. So I think we go stable or work boat. Maybe work boat for the food into a stable. And we're probably going to have to start thinking about guilds. But Venice is pretty small right now. We need this next merchant of Venice. We're going to get one anyway. I guess from our other city, Prague. Yeah, Prague is going to give us a merchant of Venice. So that's going to be good for us. We can use that to take over another city state. This archer got some levels. That's good news. Got that killed now. That's good as well. We can come in and get that final fish up. And make our way past Japan. What's up here? Nothing. Los Angeles taking damage from barbs. We've still only met. We've only met four AI. There's still three more to go. Don't know where they're at. Uh, we were selling our truffles to that. That seems fine. What we can do is sell away a load more of our resources. So Japan wants horses. So we will cheese that. We're definitely going to need every single bit of cheese we possibly can. Apparently we can set all of our horses. And then we can go to the Iroquois. And we can sell all of our iron. That's them done. Japan actually now wants the iron. That's done. And then we got to go to Sweden. And that's done as well. I wonder if we can sell one of our luxuries here. Probably can afford to do so. Because if we acquire another city-state, they'll just have gold again. We're kind of stuck in here now. We at least managed to work our way past Japan up there, which is good. Let's bring this trium back down. wonder if we can get open borders with someone soon. Anchor Watt's gone down, which makes us feel like we can. Prepare that tile, and then next turn we can work it. Yeah, we're just working maximum production now in Venice, and that seems fine. No more good tiles we can grab, for sure. Civil service in one. Good. Horseman. This barb camp is really annoying. It's a shame we don't have a city-state quest for it or something. Germany, hello! Then we'll propose that and then we'll go iron for gold. And we're in for civil service. We'll give that barbarian camp a hit and let's finally deal with it. Probably need to go rush education. We are one city challenging, which means that our science is going to be hurting if we don't do it. We need to finish this repair job so we can work the civil service farm. Okay, yeah, we've got plus 28 food in Venice right now. That's good. It's a good start. See if we can get a pot for in out of something. Did we have open borders yet with Japan? Yes. Apparently he doesn't want to do it. Really? Come on. Okay, we can go through for paying two gold per turn. Ormus, hello. Right, what else do we need to do now? I'm just pretty. We need to pull this back one, probably. I oh, know, because we were using it to get vision on the tile. Hmm. Interesting. You're not sure we do, but we definitely need to go theology now. What's copper? Interesting. And um, Fantastic says, is the AI sitting on 90 plus gold per turn a deity thing? It's absolutely a deity thing. Germany, 91 gold per turn. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, it's such a deity thing. They get like bonuses towards everything. They're just making absolute bank. And we can probably get open borders with America. I you are a friend to liberty. We just swap them. Proceed. AI's not going to be... Apparently America doesn't want to do us a deal either. Do they all hate us or something? Oh, America kind of likes us. We need to probably try and get on the friendship train. 
I trust you are so a let's sell America this iron and then just give him six gold All per right. turn. And we get that we've traded recently. And then let's perhaps try and do that with That's Germany cool. as well. It's a bit expensive, it. but we need to try and get on the friendship train where we can. Now, do we go National Epic yet? Or do we go try and build anything else? Don't need a lot of this stuff at all. A mint would be kind of good. A temple for some more faith would be useful. A writer's guild, but we don't really want to be working it yet. Well, the faith would be kind of handy, so let's get one. Uh, Arabia, hello. Uh, Arabia's got loads of stuff to trade. Nice. Do we need happiness? Not really. We might. Trade truffles for... Oh, what do we need for King's Day in Venice? We need furs. Oh, we can't get furs yet. Alright, well, truffles then. And we'll we'll get that resource online eventually when we want it. We're not working this iron yet, are we? No. We're going to grow next turn. We need to grow to production. Don't really want to give the camp another hit. Let's just bring the spear down. Let's heal in front of it. We've got a spy, so someone's in the Renaissance. Another merchant of Venice has been born in Prague. Okay. So we probably want to just go and take... I mean, Bucharest is rubbish. Kathmandu has gold again. Bucharest does have Wales, though. I don't know what's going on with Hong Kong. I mean, let's just take Kathmandu away. And acquire them with our merchant of Venice tricks. Brazil, hello. Brazil might be our friends. Brazil likes to like people. Olá. Let's try and give them a gift of gold as well to provoke friendship. This might be a total... Aluru, wow, okay. Might be a total waste of gold. We want to try it. Masonry, cool. Okay. Now we probably want to try and get down here. Because we're up here. Then let's try and go through Arabia's borders. Will you open border us? No, really? You want gold as well? Man, this is expensive. I think we've met nearly all the AI, though. We'll review it in just a minute. The Luru Gerd is down. Okay, well, we've got a spy. Since we're Venice, we definitely need to spy an AI. So let's go spy... Yeah, who do we spy? Germany, I guess. Germany's tech leader right now. Uh, well, Stockholm has got the most pop, so let's spy in Sweden. We grew in Venice. Can we grow in one? 14.3, so no. We need construction. We don't have that yet. We need to get this cargo up next. And then, let's go. So, Tantastic says, does puppeting the city-state reduce your popularity with the other civs? I'm sure it does, actually. We'll probably get some modifiers in a minute, but it'll be like we puppeted city-states that they, you know, like or something. I'm almost like 100% sure it probably does damage our standing, but it seems like the sort of thing that would damage your standing. I did find the Iroquois before we found Arabia. And then this is done, so let's go get that one last farm up. Can we take this camp down this turn? Got it. Nice. So that is Barbarians not bothering us anymore there. Barbarians can still spawn on that tile, so we'll perhaps um, fortify on like this or something, see if we can do it that way. But yeah, I'm sure the... Uh, yeah, puppeting the city-state is kind of frowned upon by the AI, although I don't know it for sure. I can't actually say I know it for sure. Do we need to get another puppet? Probably need to start generating scientists, really, <laughs> this at some point. So I guess we don't need another puppet. So this hill's there. This warrior can come up and get vision on that tile, and then this can come back. Yes, and we've got a total vision on that island now. Oh, they're not letting us in. Kathmandu doesn't want to be taken. Cape Town, hello. Kathmandu's being smart, knows the writing's on the wall for them. Don't want to be taken. Venice grew again. Can we grow one? No. Nope. So, yes, we've met all of the AIs now. So, in the game, we've got America, Germany, Iroquois, Japan, Sweden, Arabia, Brazil, and us as Venice. We've only got 21 pop on two cities right now, so that's pretty poor. We are a good 
Actually, we're actually catching up right now. We're only 7% behind the AI. But yeah, Tantastic says that's what the free gold is for, I guess. We don't actually get free gold, I don't think. We just get a lot of gold as Venice. But yeah, you definitely need all the gold for maintaining relationships, for sure. And then this archer can just go in here. Okay, this cargo, we're going to bring it to Kathmandu when we take them. 13 pop. Let's do it. Bam. Okay, we've got it. And then we just need to buy Arabia's Damn, stuff, unfortunately. Mother. Apparently we're minus 16 gold per turn now. Oh my god. Oh. That I really wasn't expecting, because I was banking on being so able to sell the iron for all of those resources. Yokoro. Okay, we need to try and trade away the gold for something. Go ahead. Right, we're still at minus eight. We can sell the gold to two AIs I trust each. You are a friend to liberty. Proceed. We sell the gold to one AI. Orders of Venice have grown brilliant. That's what we needed. Looks like we're going to be unhappy for just a little bit. But it's fine because Kathmandu's going to starve and that's going to make us happy. What was this cargo doing? Oh, yeah, this was the one that was going to Kathmandu. Have we not met Antwerp? We have. We can trade with him, surely. Apparently not. Why are our trade routes available? Okay, so starting city. So only two from Venice. Prague. What's the best for gold? Um, Kathmandu to book a rest. Okay. Okay, we got a cargo right now. Probably go garden. Or do we go cargo again? We'll go cargo again. And Tantastic says, no, I mean, the gold trades you were given to the AI to buy their friendship. Yeah, I was trying, but it's not worked. We've only got the we've traded recently and no one wants to friend us right now. I'm trying our best to get some friends with some AI, but because we're desperately going to need it because we need research agreements. But the friendship train has just not gotten started yet. Sidon, hello. We'll just try and stay alive a little bit longer and maybe it'll come. Well, we've got all of these units now too. Right, uh, let's... Uh, that's why we got... All of this... All of these gold problems. Just delete like almost all of these triremes. We can probably only need one. Just one trireme because that can go and protect on this island. And then we'll get the combo inside the city. And then this combo can go on the island as well. We've got this pike. Probably just go to this island to make sure we don't get anything happen to us. Yeah, there's not a lot we can do in here now. I mean, this work is worthless here, so let's delete that. And now we've got this cargo to send food to Venice. And the other cargo to send... Oh, yes, we can get science from the AI. Ice gold. That is Seattle. Let's give this a radar. Seems okay. Okay, science from Seattle then. That'll boost our science by quite a lot. Yeah, I can't believe those gold gifts didn't work, actually. I mean, I don't know if we try again. Good day. Proceed. Give him, like, another one. Yeah, that's going to get it back up again. We need to get on this friendship train. Kathmandu's going to stay at 13 pop. I'm going to get a spy still off. Yeah, 13 turns. We actually kind of need to get through Sweden's lands. Got about this guy for a while. He's got whales to trade, though. We need to trade away. We're selling our gold right now. We're unhappy. So we probably need to buy his whales. Or eight. Nine. Okay. And then we can go do open borders with him, too. Will you just at least straight swap them? None of these AI even want to swap borders today. I don't see why they all hate us so much. Look at this from Japan. I was about to mention this a little while ago, but look. Ruin. Satsuma, Tokyo, Ruin. 60 gold. Sure. We need open borders with the Iroquois too if we want to go through. Have an iron. Have a gold. Two gold. Three gold, really? Okay. No, we don't want to attack any of this stuff. Can't get through now. But we do need to sell him the iron back. 107 gold per turn from the Iroquois. How crazy is that? 
And we can go try and buy these resources of Harun al Rashid. Unfortunately, our cap still needs furs and we can't get that. But we need to allow ourselves to grow. We even gave Harun that gold per turn and he actually doesn't like us for some reason. It's like all of this stuff at least. We finished our cargo. Sleep there. And then again, yeah, we can only send food. So our next best gold trade route was Kathmandu to book a rest. So we'll go send it to Kathmandu again. Kathmandu is kind of our staging point right now for trading. We can maybe trade with America again for that science boost. We got our cargo up. Let's get the garden and then we'll probably think about guilds because we're getting to pop 16. We don't want to ruin our, um, our growth too, too much just yet. But we do need to think about culture at some point. We probably should try and go straight into acoustics for the Renaissance era so that we can speed rationalism. I think it's what we do. And then let's go for that other, that other rune up there. We still haven't got a pop rune yet. I was really hoping to get a pop rune when we were at like population 20 or something. Because then that would be really beneficial for us. It looks like all these runes we found aren't really yielding much. Ice gold, Tokyo. Okay. No, we don't attack that. We'll try and get past Brazil in a minute. And then let's use this cargo ship to protect. We don't need Coco, unfortunately. We need this King's Day. We need Furs somehow. Okay, we have eight turns to get into the Renaissance era. Seven turn acoustics. Done. So this is going okay so far. I don't really know how we assess how a... A Venice game is going at all. But what I do know is that we're not going to be taking any filler policies, and that will be big for us. Because we need to make sure we're powering down rationalism as fast as possible and probably building the porcelain tower too. Let's get a uni up. This is a real hard rush right now. How do we get more food out of this land? Yes, okay, the truffles are up. We can actually sell truffles, but we don't want to do that yet. It's our golden age, beginning or ending? One more turn on a golden age. Oh, that's where all the gold was coming from. <laughs> anyway, Fantastic says for a second I thought that was a bottle of iron brew. <laughs> yeah, we did have. Who was it? Who was it that came into the stream earlier? I was trying to remember their name now. Minty, right? Minty TR5 came into the stream earlier. It's from Edinburgh. Is that is that a Scottish thing, Iron Brew? I don't actually remember. It might not have been, and I've just completely butchered them. I'm sorry, Minty, if I have. But yeah, no, it's just a big bottle of um, Diet Coke. Finishing it off. Okay, we need to get this tile up because we need that food. Oh, there is a way through down there. Nice. Okay, what are we doing in Venice? We need more food. This is a better tile to work, so let's do that. We need to get this as a lumber mill down here whenever we can. And then we're, we're just kind of out of tiles at some point soon. 38.75 food, though. That's pretty killer. So we're, we're going to be growing Venice like an absolute steam train. We need culture. So let's try and do the quest for this city-state. Need horses so far, and then we probably give them a gift of gold. Sweden stole philosophy. We're supposed to be trying to steal from Sweden. Is Sweden backwards in tech? Oh, maybe we should have tried to steal from Arabia. That'd be better. Medina has only popped 17. I mean, we went into a 24 pop city. We've only got eight turns on the steel now. Oh, Houston. Um, okay. Well, we don't need to protect this anymore then. And Barb's. We've got America there. There's a little one tile horse island that America's going for. Ah, oh, the Grand Mesa. Nice. We haven't got many city state quests for meeting, for finding these things. Which is a real shame because there's always loads of quests and we've been finding a few of these natural wonders now. Bam. Nice. Anyway, Fantastic says, I, I am brewed Scottish and delicious. The perfect. I assume that means hangover cure. <laughs> yeah, I bet it must be actually. I, I had some friends once who were really into iron brew. Let's maximize our food. We can work uni slots in a minute and then we'll just go. We might actually be first to the Renaissance era here. Yes, friends, finally! We got one friendship with America. 
Research agreement time. This is why we need rationalism for those research agreements. Washington needs eight gold. Well, we can wait until next turn. We don't want to be giving anyone gold at this point. Because our gold is kind of rubbish. Menace has grown. We finished our uni. Let's go Writer's Guild. We can actually Oxford if we want to. Barb Camps. All of these ruins have been so underwhelming. Well, no, we don't want to war Japan at all. Buffalo Creek, okay. Let's just get across the water. And come back with this comp bow. Don't really know what we do with it. We just need to make sure barbs don't come in and get all of our stuff here. How's America settling another city? Okay, and we've got a truffles that we can apparently trade away. No, we definitely can't trade it away. We've got eight happiness right now and our 600 gold. We need to start working on city-states. And here's Hong Kong. Yes. So they would ally us for this gold gift. 80 influence. We need harbours. That's what we need. And we've actually nearly met with our triremes now. We actually can't... Oh, Cahokia, hello. Yeah, we need harbours. Let's try and take out this barb camp at least while we're here. Iron and salt with trust you Washington ended. So we can now trade away a truffles for I'm it. No, 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 no. We don't want to do that at all. We're going to get another truffles anytime soon. No. Not in the slightest. I mean, we've tried. But we're not going to get one. So, oh, this is, yeah, this was the guy that was coming out to watch over this area. Just got there. Uh, we can delete this, actually. Save the gold. This cargo was done. Send it back to Venice, for sure. And then Washington. And, apparently, we've got oh. these guys as well for the copper. We can only get one. So, let's trade our gold here. And then let's trade our iron I here for the salt. You are a friend to liberty. Proceed. And then trade away the last iron. And then Washington will do a research agreement with us okay. now. Yes. And we've got a unit of the knees orders, this thing that was going over there for more food. We're going to grow again. We need to work uni slots, actually. So let's do that absolutely now. Don't know how much we need to grow Venice, actually. It's really bad that we didn't get any of the growth wonders, but that's kind of life, I think. We're definitely going to get into the Renaissance in time. I think we can delete one of these triremes that's ended up down here together for some more gold per turn. Yeah, stand there. Oh, it's Bob Pike, really? Oh, we're getting out of there then. Nothing there. So Venice Grew again, we're getting more gold. We finished the Writer's Guild, let's get a mint. And then once we've got acoustics, we'll go to compass for harbours. And then we'll go to engineering. Apparently we desire copper. Oh no, no, we got copper. Nice, we got a king's den, Prague. We need truffles. Good or furs even. So that's what Washington's got. Proceed. You can actually do it for all of our gold. <laughs> or not. Okay, who do we want to friendly with now? Let's see if Washington has friends with a bunch of people. And then we can like friend the same people. Let's try and get the Sistine Chapel for some culture. Yeah, it's just like totally no power there with that pike. Are there any more ruins near that pikeman that we can go and get? It's kind of why we built it. At least the spear originally anyway. Can we go and fetch any ruins out with the pikeman? Oh, there's another one here next to Japan. We'll see if they cleared that one either. We can sell silver over there. We're still waiting for construction. Building the Sistine Chapel. No, sorry. Have we got declarations of friendship with the same leaders anywhere? We don't really have a same leaders thing going on yet. And that's what we really need to get this whole friendship train start. Let's um, delete this. We don't have open borders with Germany. Okay. Maybe we try for open borders with Germany and try and friend them. We're going to grow again. Need to work the Writers Guild. Probably, I mean, I would unwork production, but we, we really want the Sistine Chapel. 
It's one of these tiles, I guess. Means we could do with another city state to send more food to our capital. Oh, how now Rashid builds it. Um, yeah, we got a mint in. Oh, well, rip that. At least we get some gold. We've got all these new trade routes now. Should we try and get through German territory? I suppose it helps to try and go through German territory. Will you open borders with us at all? You want us to pay... I swear sometimes you can just get these straight deals with AI. But for some reason right now, they want us to pay them every single time. Send this pike over. Oh, there's an archer there. Okay, Venice grew again. Lots of gold now from that silver. Still plus 31 food. What do we go for next? Probably the National Epic. We need to also need to move towards Hermitage. We're not next to a mountain, unfortunately, so we can't observe a tree. We need to click on Metal Casting. Wow, man, wow. We went in expressly for that and we just got, like, nowhere. Oh, we need a harbour. That's what we need and the golden stuff. Starvis Adorvis declared war on Washington. Oh, good. Okay. Should we get friends? What's up? You're gesunked. Man, really? Okay, so it appears a few AIs are, like, friending America now. Three things are so we could try and push friendship, friendship with Germany. The open borders is going to help. I'm sure they'll ask us for it soon. Although a research agreement as early as we can would be really nice. Let's just see if... Yep, that ruin's still there. So I guess we'll do that. And into rationism we go. Turn 93, so that's pretty good for us. I don't know if we need to give give Germany gold to convince them to be friends. Do we need the national epic right now? A harbour would be good for the gold, and so would those cargo ships. Um, No, because these guys have just decided to war America. So we're going to steal from them. See what we can steal. Ideally, astronomy, but you never know what you can get. Guilds, perhaps, would be kind of good. Can we get... We can't get astronomy, unfortunately. It's going to have to be guilds. Okay, uh, Gustav is building something. We can get lumber mills now. Let's go do that. And get this. Nice. Map, again. <laughs> we are getting all of the worst ruins right now. It's crazy. I was really hoping like one pop ruin would have been nice. But we didn't even get a culture ruin, did we? We've got no pop ruins, no culture ruins. Just all been like gold and maps and stuff. Two food will grow. Let's do that. Now we just need to try and get secularism. I guess we're probably going to do science saving. You know, I thought... Uh, yes, Germany. Friends. Good. Research agreement. Cool. Okay, now we need to get Iroquois along. We've got metal casting for workshops. We probably need to try and get some maritime city-state allies. So let's see if there's one that we can try and acquire. Uh, yeah, we need to get out here and heal with the pikemen. Lumber mill. And choose research. What's the fastest way to like greed science right now? Don't need caravels yet. Iron works. We don't have metal casting. Fastest way to greed science right now is scientific theory. And that's going to need us to go chivalry for again some more trade routes of banking. And we're just building random stuff in these cities right now, but that's okay. Oh, actually, we're working uni slots in Kathmandu. Cool. <laughs> yeah, and then what do we need? We probably need harbour. Maybe need a workshop. I don't know. We need to get our gold turn engine going as Venice soon. Good. We're friends with Germany. We just need to start the friendship train with the Iroquois. Perhaps we purchase some cargoes to send once soon as we got this harbour up. Because... We need to get our gold per turn going. They'll certainly pay, them, pay themselves back really fast. And we'll probably we we'll probably get some trade routes available once we get the harbour. Oh, wow. Kathmandu to Rio is 25 gold per turn right now. Yeah, that's going to pay that back fast. So let's get that. Kathmandu also demands furs. Now, I would love to get furs, but it's going to cost us everything we own to get it. In for a lumber mill. Got pop 21 Venice. Not the worst thing in the world. Not the greatest, but not the worst. We need to just spam cargoes. 
We'll get this workshop, we'll get this harbour, and then we will spam them. Venice is a bit low production right now. Ah, oh, zero kilo. Lumber mill. This needs to definitely go. Highest gold, Rio de Janeiro, 25 gold per turn. And right, now we're talking. Now we're talking. We need to buy another one when we can. Black Tags joins. Hello, Black Tags. Welcome to the stream today. Iroquois getting first seen in Ganesh River. Worth keeping an eye on. That is one hell of a eye. <laughs> Iroquois getting furs in Ganesh River. So where is that? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> How on earth did you spot that? <laughs> I would absolutely never have known. Yeah, it probably is worth keeping an eye on that. Hopefully they'll get it soon. We could try and buy it off. One of these AIs did have it earlier. America. We maybe have the gold per turn to get oh, it yeah. now. I mean, it's going to cost us like loads of gold per turn. 18. But the King's Day in Venice might also be quite valuable. I don't quite know which is most valuable right now. We actually still need to get horses back as well for Bucharest. 18 gold per turn for furs is quite a lot. I wonder if Sweden will do us a cheaper deal. Ah, oh, Ben, come on. No. Let's see if we can get these furs from anyone anywhere. Doesn't look like it. Got no money quest. That's for silver. I feel like we should probably do it. Just for I the growth. But then I don't want to pay 18 gold per turn for growth. Proceed. Is the follow let's, let's do it. We'll get some more cargo ships. We'll just do it. Poland has been captured by Sweden. Yes, friends with Brazil. Nice. Cool. Friends with Brazil too. So this friendship train is well and truly up and running now. Now we just need to get some gold. We've got a writer. Okay. And yeah, all these cities love the king. That's brilliant. We need to get marble from someone. The Cahokia. Probably start trying to do city-state quests soon. Once we have enough gold, we'll do it. Let me see if we can get around a little bit more with these triremes. How did you spot... Black Tags, how did you spot that? <laughs> oh, Antwerp as well. If we could have ever, like, friended Antwerp, we could have got first from them. How? <laughs> we're going to get this workshop done in Venice soon. And we're going to grow again. Okay, yeah, well, we're... Yes. Iron... For sure. We need, we've only got two research agreements right now. We do need another one, but we don't have the gold for it. It's 167, I think, right now. We're selling truffles for gold. We actually kind of need to keep the happiness. Okay, there seems to be a bit of a peace deal going on. We can sell silver, apparently. Uh, yeah, we can. I don't know if we sell silver for a research agreement. I guess we probably got all of... We actually got all the happiness in the world, don't we? Can we sell silver? Oh, we can't sell silver to this guy, unfortunately. Iroquois aren't our friends yet. We can give away truffles, though, to Germany for 200 gold. And that'll get us a research agreement with uh, Lane Brazil. Every little helps at this point, I guess. Hola. Make a proposal. Okay. What do we need? We don't have any wonders. We would love science funding, but AI will all hate us for it. Literally, the only thing that you can do where the AI won't hate you is go World's Fair. I guess we go World's Fair. Start making everybody like us. Uh, we don't have open borders with Brazil anymore, do we? I don't think we ever had open borders with them, actually. That's Portland. That's what got captured by Sweden. Wow, pop 26 on turn 99. All these cargoes required. We'll buy citrus from Arabia. But we don't need. Oh, we need to do all these deals again. Let's give horses away. Oh no, That's not, we, we need to make sure to keep one horse so we get that city state quest. That's one horse. That's two horses, and then the iron. Okay, before we do something dumb and not get that city state quest, let's hold on to the horse. Okay, everyone loves us again. He goes leaning. Yeah, okay, so now what do we need? We need a great general and top culture to get them going on the quest. We're not going to get top culture. 
I need to delete another trireme. Okay, and we got more banking trade routes. So I guess we go economics next. Make our way to scientific theory. We do at least have our workshop now, which is going to give us some good production. Now we can't grow in one yet. 22 we are. That's not the greatest thing in the world. How long until secularism? Quite a while. Yeah, we need some city-state friends. We need to work on more culture. The artist guild needs to join the queue. And the hermitage, but we'll be a little ways away from hermitage yet. We've explored a lot of the map though now. Oh, we can trade away this final horse. We got it back for that quest. No. Okay, so we need... We can try and get this text quest if we can do like a cheap tech or something. I don't think we have a cheap tech to do, but maybe if we can like join the leader in winning it or something. Looks like we're done with workers here apart from the old trading post. Oh, Larsa, hello. Let's go spy a bit on Rio, I guess. Sit there. We can't unfortunately get a great general. We're not going to win that culture quest. What else can we do? We need another Bogota. It's just friendly. We're going to need gold for them. We need marble. If we can acquire marble, we'll try and start the city-state train. But again, they don't want any more luck. So we just gave away this horse and then Cape Town now wants horses again. Hopefully, we can last out and like join the leader in getting this quest for Cape Town. Is the following trade of it? No, we'll start taking all of our gold per turn back. Yes, friends with Arabia. So we can get a research agreement with them in a couple of turns as well. Porcelain Tower would be good. Maybe Porcelain Tower is the reason for us to go for architecture. Let's try that instead. Let's go for architecture. We've got a deal end. Silk is available. Yeah, production. Okay. Probably actually better to just be working our production at this point. I mean, we are. We loves the King's Day, Inc. Or we love the King's Day, Inc. But I think we just need the hammers at this point and get through this massive cargo ship queue. We've got 40 gold per turn now. All these deals that we were sending out are ending. Trying to get the AI to be friends with us. I don't know if they were worthwhile or not. I have absolutely no idea. Do we want to pay for this silk? No one wants it right now. And we don't need silk for a King's Day. We certainly don't care about King's Days in Kathmandu. We already got that. So we don't need the silk. We just need to trade away our iron. Was nun? For two gold per turn. Take the maximum we can. Every little helps. We don't really need to scout through Brazil. Oh, we're going to get a scientist soon. Let's turn 102, so this might actually be good to plant this one. Because it's always going to be quite a large amount of population. Or like, what's the word? It's always going to be worth it, because right now we're only getting... I mean, what's our base science right now? No, let's get, end all these deals. So our base science is only 46 and a half, so planting this for an academy will probably actually be worth it. Kathmandu! Cool. Kathmandu is being good for us. All right, highest gold. What's the highest gold trade route? Trade route's available. So gold. So what are we doing? Venice to Medina. Venice to Seattle. Venice to Chicago. Okay. So it's all from Venice. Yeah, we've got that scientist born. I can't believe it's born, born in, you got born in Kathmandu. We are still in, yeah, we are still sending two food trade routes to Venice. So highest gold is Medina. Now we're talking. We're getting some good gold per turn all of a sudden. This is what you expect to see when you play Venice. There's a lot of this ridiculous gold per turn from all of these trade routes. And we've still got another bunch to go. We've got our harbour up so that we could actually send the trade routes from Venice. Now we just need to build everything else. Get a bank even as well. Lots of gold here right now. But I think we want to try and get porcelain first for the research agreement bonus. Yeah, end all of these deals so that we get our money back. We were sending a lot of gold out in deals to try and get the friendship train going. We can actually get a research agreement with Arabia. And then we don't have the Iroquois yet. Can we just ask them for friends? No. We don't want to friend Sweden because they just warred America. So that will make America hate us. And America are definitely more of a problem. Now this trireme seems a bit useless. We'll move it over here, but... We probably need caravels to go and explore the rest of this world now. Okay, highest gold again, Seattle. We'll take it. 
And this one, was this food to Venice? It was, and we need to keep that going. Scientist. Okay, and this was what? Okay, this is just another trade route that we finished. Chicago. Go. Then let's check this again, see what is the most gold. Still Venice to Hong Kong, and then it's actually Kathmandu to Stockholm. And then Venice again to another bunch of cities. We've got no trade requests. That's so annoying. We're Venice. We're supposed to be the kings of trade requests, and we haven't got a single one. We buy a horse for Cape Town. It feels like it's worth buying a horse for Cape Town right now. Go ahead. We can do like one for one, which we can. So that we get another 45 influence with them. Now what else can we do? We still need to get marble. We need to think about that. There was a quest for cotton at some point somewhere, but I guess it's not going around anymore. So we don't need that cotton right now or that wine. No, none of these, these city states all seem to want marble for some reason. We need to keep our eye out for marble. Let's actually just use this trade overview. See if we can find the marble this way. I don't think... Ah, oh, Pedro has got marble. Will you do us a reasonable Olá. deal? And it gets us going with two city-states. Okay, let's do that and get going with two city-states. We've got a lot of gold per turn to spare. We've actually got 71 right now and we're not even in the golden age. We kind of need to get the cultural city-state going though, Bucharest. We haven't, we've got the gold per turn to win them over eventually. We need this artist guild in Venice. We got a cargo ship and then we'll do the artist guild. We got a lot of cargo ships to build. We still need two more. I guess we buy some. Maybe. I think that's probably what you're supposed to do as Venice. Just buy these cargo ships. They pay themselves back quite easily. And we're going to be wanting to build the porcelain tower in three turns. Which means we do actually need the production time in the city. Okay, so we've got the marble connected. We can steal again from Sweden. Physics or steel? Steel, I guess. Jump. Got a nice level 3 spy now, and Venice grew. We forgot to do this, actually. We should definitely work this food, though. Secularism in one turn. Hopefully that's going to be more science. We'll work the merchant slot as well in the capital once we get that. What we're doing, exploring with this pike when it might be best to delete it. Let's go see what... Oh, we can't see what's going on around Hong Kong. We can see what's going on around Lhasa. Okay, one more, Kyoto. And then we'll get, grab this artist skilled. I know, maybe we'll eventually get marble out here, so we'll hang there. We can sell our iron away. We only have one gold. Sounds called Globe. I trust you are we will trade away our last copy of gold for this spare wine, so that we can try and get a King's Day back for our own resource. We're definitely not short on happiness. We've got 12. Yeah, we can't do anything else now. It's in grasp on Bucharest. Yeah, we need to keep that up. Secularism, nice. Then 107, that's not bad timing for secularism, although I don't know if it's good or not on one city. We're going to grow into... Let's go get the workshop slot. Are we going to be first to architecture? 9-11, no, 9-1-1 anyway. No, we're totally not first to architecture at all, but we should try it. Even with all these research agreements, turn 107, we're just nowhere near the deity AI, even on Archipelago. It's quite crazy stuff. I was hoping to be a bit closer, but we're just not. Do we give these a gift? We'll probably just wait for 500 so we can get oh no 500 is the same i'll we'll give him a gift then we were paying for whales probably need to keep doing that it's eight though don't need to pay for that one of these city states does eventually have whales <laughs> that one gold per turn oh it's bucharest okay well if we take over bucharest i guess that deal is a bit useless there goes Taj. I believe that gives us a better chance of porcelain tower. Are there any AIs that are going explicit rationalism? I don't see any rationalism. There's a lot of patronage going out. We should probably take a point in patronage at some point.
No. Okay, we're annoying Larson now. Seems unfortunate for them. Okay, Venice is going to grow. We need to grow to some production. Oh, we got the artist guild that we can work. I feel like all these hammers are quite useful. Yeah, we need the porcelain tower. We're going to grow onto that. We actually need all the hammers we can get right now. So let's work as many as we can. I think that's the most. We actually could do with working the market. That would lose us a hammer on porcelain tower. We need to work that for secularism though. Okay, so it's going to be turn 108. I don't know if we plant scientists or not actually. It's one of these like grey areas where it's like turn 110. So I don't know if we plant sci scientists. I think because they're going to be so such a large portion of our base, we actually do. Each scientist is probably worth like, I don't know, maybe like it's 20%. No, probably like an eighth or something like 10%. Which seems like it could be worthwhile. We now demand sugar. I'm sure we had a way of getting sugar at one point. Okay, so let's just um, plop this down. Academy. Yeah, it's eight science. And we're currently generating a base of 65 and a half. So that's an extra, I mean, we'll set an extra eight. So it's an extra 12 and a half percent right now. So let's go for one. Onto this production. Only up to 27 food in Venice now. So we're going to need an ideology to propel us along again. I mean, that's okay. We're expecting that. We need a golden age too, which is why getting this writers that getting these artists out is so important. And it's a bit of a mistake that we've not generated one and been able to golden age for anything yet. Let's hope we get the porcelain tower though. It's going to be pretty painful if we lose it. Save the scientist points in the city. You know what? We should stop working scientist slots in a couple of turns if we imagine getting porcelain tower. That might save us a few. We're not building anything that gives us points? No. Okay, so we'll think about it next turn. We also need to think about Hermitage. Ah, oh, Jerusalem. Hello. Wow, I can't believe we didn't meet Jerusalem yet. This pike is not really doing anything useful. Let's delete it. 105 gold per turn now. This is Venice. We still have two more trade routes to build. We need to buy those, actually. So, where's our next best trade route? This one in here. Kathmandu to Kyoto. And then Venice to Hong Kong. So, get this one. 100 gold per turn. We need to get friends with the Iroquois. They're kind of the one remaining strong sieve right now that we don't have a research agreement with. And we need to queue something up behind the porcelain tower in case we lose it. Ironworks. No. Opera House. It's definitely Opera House for the Hermitage. We don't really need production right now. Almost six, the Merchant of Venice. Man, why could you not have asked one of those when we needed, when we were still generating them? But we're definitely not going to generate another one. Six turns of points. So six turns of points, we're currently getting nine a turn. So six turns of points is like 54. We don't even really save a lot by delaying this now, and we get to work science for six turns. So actually, I don't think we do it. Actually, we do. We save, we save 195 points. Don't get to work science for a while though. It's six turns. It feels like a lot because it's as well. It's to, yes, there's like ten science for each one of these specialists, and we get this scientist out sooner too. So actually, we'll keep it. And so this now needs to go highest gold. Kyoto is sixteen, so that's definitely it. And then we can buy the next caravan soon. We can buy cocoa off Sweden, but we don't need it. We need sugar in Prague, that's not to worry. We need to get our truffles back for Sidon and Eif, so we can definitely do that. Cape Town needs 23. Bucharest needs 68. We're starting to lose ground with Bucharest, probably because someone won that quest. We need to we need city states to start asking for gold quests or something so we can work on them. 114's a lot. We're not even golden aging. We'll plant this scientist as well. The one we're about to get. Because that's going to make us just kind of give us another big boost to our base. So right now we've got 
a base of 73, so that's still more than 10% for planting a scientist. So I think that seems worthwhile. We'll go and plant it on one of these tiles over there. Sleep the writer, so we got some culture saved. This cargo probably was going to Venice. Oh no, it was going to Tokyo. Just make sure we're doing everything. Yeah, so we need to get the next highest gold trade route now. Which is going to be Venice to Hong Kong and then Venice to Tokyo. So we'll send this to Venice. We don't have open borders with Japan anymore. So it seems like another trireme that needs to be deleted. We can't grind one there. Okay. We need to get our way down to free thought as soon as we can. We can golden age in a minute, probably, with the artist, if we feel like we need to. And then we can perhaps off the back of that take our get our way through free thought. We need another cultural friend. We need to think about dropping 500 gold on another cultural city-state at some point. Tokyo is the highest gold. Yeah, some of these triremes are a bit pointless now. We've seen everything we can see with this one. Let's save the gold. It's a Luru still. And scientists come down here. Oh, we actually need to work that tile if we're going to plant. Yeah, let's plant. We can go just take this one away and we're going to grow next turn so we can grow onto some production. Okay, so that's now got our base up to 157, so we did add 10% there. Good stuff. We're up to nearly 26 pop in Venice. I'm guessing we need to aim for like, I don't know, 40? Is that the sort of thing that you aim for? When you're trying to OCC like this? Washington and the Iroquois are at war. Okay. I wonder if these guys hold a grudge towards each other. Oh, our research agreement with America is about to come through. Bam. Nice. We need to get that back. Trust you are a friend to Washington needs six gold. I mean, let's just give you... I'm listening. It's like... Uh, what is it? One gold for... Like 25. 21. No. 20. Of course 19. Not. We'll just get no. this secured one turn earlier. Because maybe a turn will make the difference in the end of the game. No. Really? This is a really bad deal of now. Of course not. Of course not. Really? 12? No. 11? I oh, know we're trying to buy a gold. Yeah. No. 11? Really? Well. Let's do that. Very and then we'll, we'll still try and give this guy away like 10. Or like 1. Okay. No. Well, fine. We'll wait. We'll wait a turn. Man, we're three turns short of Porcelain Tower for that as well. Uh, we've got an artist that we can bowl for something useful. We smashed our way through economics, so scientific theory next. And then we'll go in for electricity and we'll try an Oxford Radio for freedom. We need to absolutely make sure that we get that ideology. We then need to get our culture up. In a big way, because... We're going to get ideological pressure. Like, there's no way that AIs aren't also going to go like order, autocracy, stuff like that. We've only got six happiness lying around. I mean, we can work on it with city-state friends. But oh, borders of Venice have grown to some horses. Nice. Let's go see what's up there. Doesn't seem like a lot. We've got this golden age to come. We're golden age for schools. Or can we get it down? I wonder if we can get Porcelain Tower down by Golden Aging now. We're 4.74 short. That's unfortunate. Well, we tried, but we got 153 gold per turn now. We're 69 behind in Bucharest. It's going to be better for us right now, I guess, to try and take... We try and take 50 in here. No, because we need allies. That's what we need. We need to start the ally train. 69 behind here. I guess we'll have to drop a thousand gold on them for that quest. We need we need to get our truffles back. But that'll help us out with some other city-states. Yes, research agreement with America. Come on, Porcelain Tower. Maybe we'll plant the next one as well and then save the rest. Don't really know. What do we build here? Delete that. Oh, this car goes ready. Okay. Yes to Venice, we need that food. And then get some horses. OK, 
Okay. Hopefully we get porcelain next turn. That's going to be pretty sad if we don't. And then we can start working on schools. And then we really need to do hermitage. We need to get another city-state friend as well. I tell you, we probably get net more overall. Nice. Okay. Porcelain tower. That's pretty good. So what's our base right now? 167. 87, so that's still like, I mean, it's a much smaller percentage of our science now. I don't know whether it makes sense to save it or not. Perhaps we plant one more. What are we doing in Venice? We need 20 to go down in two. Okay, so that's not really going to happen. We need to make sure we keep our King's Day going. We do have a spy now. Spy we left in Sweden by accident. Probably need to go spy in Bucharest. And then we'll go and pay for friends with Bogota. To get our culture up a bit more. And then we're golden aging. So at the end of four turns we'll bowl by two writers and Iroquois. That's going to annoy America. Oh, we need to go schools, not opera houses. Es wäre in Hopefully we managed to get that switch to a school. Yeah, we did. Cool. Right, open borders with Bismarck ended. We demand Coco in Venice and Silk in Kathmandu. Someone did have Coco earlier. Germany. He wants us to pay 25 gold per turn and open borders for it. Surely someone's going to have a better deal. Are we getting any other deals ending soon? Because it seems really rubbish to be doing that. Oh, this truffles deal for furs ends on 122, so maybe we'll wait until then to get the deal up. Yeah, so from Germany is the Coco. We actually have another cargo ship that we can get as well in Venice. Let's just purchase that. We now need to vote for someone. Who's the strongest AI? America. Oh no, the Iroquois. Oh. Maybe we should friend the Iroquois then. And they've been denounced by Japan and they're at war with America. Which means we don't really want to do that. Okay. Now we're going to put this one more scientist down. Like that and that'll be our last scientist we can move this over again and then we'll grow to the gold two turns before we can bulb some writers we got social policy that's humanism so great scientists earn faster now that's good news we've got this to send for gold to atlanta yeah oh detroit's been settled yeah well i guess we can't really get past with our tri room now ah oh. Cape Town wanted a quest. Damn. And we don't get another one for a while. I bet, hopefully we get one that ends soon though. Nine turns for the one from Prague to Kath Kathmandu and Prague. Okay, well I guess that's going to be how long we have to wait for the Cape Town quest. But we know we've got that in our back pocket. We need to be building Oxford next. Research agreement comes down. This is growing. Have we got any other research agreements finishing soon? 10, 5, 21. I mean, let's... I'll tell you what, it's going to be a waste to use Oxford now because it's going to be much more important for us later. Let's instead just go Opera House and then just research radio. And then we can come back for industrialization. In five turns, we'll get it anyway. And let's hope that that's just enough, because it's going to take us three turns to build that Oxford. Like a two-turn speed-up of ideology, that doesn't sound like a good idea. And then, yeah, we'll bubble these writers at the end of the turn. I think. See how much they're worth. Hopefully they're worth like 250 or something. We can bring our way to free thought. And then perhaps we go and take... There's cotton available. We need cocoa. Yeah, so 266. 
That'll take us to free thoughts. Let's bulb a couple. So that's more science now. Golden Age ended. Trading post. We got those horses up so we can sell horses. We can even actually try and claim cotton. Wait, what? Two horses. Oh, wow. Okay. I'll sell the horses to him. And then I guess try and buy this cotton back for eight if we can. It's have to be nine. Just try and collect some happiness. We need to start securing these luxury deals just in case. We need them later on when we go ideology. And we probably will. I mean, we might expect at worst, like maybe minus 20 or something from ideology pressure. We've only got seven as a buffer right now. There's sugar. That's oh. not what we needed. So can we secure this one as well? Japan doesn't really like us right now. Steal another tech. What can we steal? Gunpowder or astronomy. Gunpowder. Now we probably need to go and stick this spy in the Iroquois or something. Who's Where's the highest pop city now? Rio is actually available from Brazil. Feels like we could we should put this spy in the Iroquois. And so what's the Iroquois' biggest city? Onondaga's 22. No, you know what? Let's let's not do that. We can put it in Rio. Which is quite a big city. World's Fair has passed and Prague loves the king. Well, at least we got our satellite cities loving the king. We need to start work on the World's Fair. Try and put four turns of production into it or something and then uh, we'll get this free social policy. Scout Jerusalem and then perhaps delete this. Hmm. Don't really know how this game is progressing right now. It's turn 122. We're a bit, we're close to the AI, which is not, but we need to find a natural wonder now. Now Bogota asks for it. We need to expend some money into one of these city-states. It's going to have to be Bucharest. Furs and truffles with Washington ended. Okay. So that's that deal done, and we'll get truffles back for these city-states. Good day. And we don't need to trade for furs again. We Go can ahead. buy the furs, though. And that will be beneficial. Of course. Again, we need to just try and stack some happiness right now where we can. We can probably build things like Circus Maximus, but we've got better things to build right now. I don't know how we find this natural wonder. I Lord knows where it is. It's going to take five turns of production in our city. We might just about have enough. See if we can do it. I mean, we'll see how this kind of stacks up as the turns go round. At least we get 500 points towards a golden age. But it'll be really good to get this social policy. The trouble is we just don't have production in Venice. I mean, we're working everything we can right now. Oh, we're not even working the school slot. Trouble's connected for Zurich. That's good. Okay. Yeah, and then we'll just work this. We've only got plus 15 food right now. Don't know if that's because the trade route ended or what. Let's bring this... It's not, we've just got plus 15 food because it's just that point in time. Okay, well, we need freedom in order to keep growing Venice and we'll be able to take it in a couple of turns. We've got one of these research agreements coming in in one. We need to make sure we get a research agreement with Germany, actually. I think we forgot to pay again for one of those. How are we, get, how are we getting on? We might not make it for the World's Fair. We may not make it. Ideology adopted. Order for the Iroquois. Okay. So it's good we didn't want order. And we go in for radio next turn. So our research agreement is complete with Pedro now. Cool. Let's get another one. Hola. Research agreements with everyone we can get. 137. So we can actually get this free social policy. Well, let's do that. It's going to be worth it over getting the hermitage. And let's hope for our ideology next turn. I mean, it definitely has to be freedom as Venice. There's no reason not to. We're stuck with this dry room. Off that goes. Okay, how do we quest now? We need these natural wonders all of a sudden. Larsa wants a gold quest, and we can give them a thousand for like 150 in a minute. They don't have a resource though, but they do have faith. We have spare truffles. Oh, we do. Okay, let's sell that for eight gold per turn if we can. 
And then sell away the horses, and we need to sell away some iron too. Is the following trade of interest to you? Assalamu alaikum. Okay, Harana Rashid doesn't want a good deal for them anymore. Maybe top top score Sweden will. We should probably get declaration of friendship with Sweden. I mean, are they at war with anyone? Not anymore. Should we friend them? He declines now. Let's try give them a gift of gold. And see if that convinces them. Okay, horses and stuff ended. Spy has been recruited, and the Swedish spy stole some more technological secrets. Oh, we we turned that away, but we should have um, we should have used that notification to our advantage. It's a shame. Need to trade away this horse. Ah, van common. Right, what can we do? Four turns until our next social policy. A couple more turns into the world's fair needed. We've got this golden age to keep hanging around. Then we go hermitage at some point. Bring this into our territory and then delete it. We've got 361 science right now. That's not bad. Jerusalem has a new ally. America went order. We have no interest there. Oh, we were selling truffles for gold here. Okay. Let's try and use this to go claim a city-state then. We get a lot of value for giving this to Larsa. do that okay america went order we're gonna have to go freedom we can't really follow for order now and we'll take civil society and avant-garde i mean it makes no sense to do anything else just delete this in our territory we we'll delete that too so we've got 227 right now so we're gonna accidentally put a bit too much into this and then we want to go opera house we need to get the ironworks up at some point too it's pretty painful spending 10 turns on the porcelain tower. This was going to Venice. Have we still got that trade request? No, that quest disappeared. Um, okay, well we need to send food to Venice anyway, so let's do that. How much food do we have now? Okay, so we're back up to 25 food, thanks to civil society. Going to grow in three. We can actually get that down to two, apparently. We want to do that. Let's give up a bit of production, because we don't need it in the World's Fair. And then we've got Larsa for a faith ally. So hopefully we can faith purchase a couple of scientists. We probably need to grab another faith ally. We want to keep doing that. But we need to keep our cultural allies going. Bucharest wants us to get truffles. Did we really trade away our own truffles again? Good day. We kind of did, didn't we? Oh man, we traded away our last copy of truffles. That would have been great for Bucharest. We're actually supposed to be rigging in Bucharest in two turns. We need to get this into a city-state though. So let's go for Eif. Oh no, Eif is a long way out. We're not going to get Eif. Bogota. And then we'll check to see how long our next spy can be. 28 turns in Rio. There's nothing of use there at all. We were better off in Sweden's lands. Just move that spy back, I guess. Back to Stockholm. Yes, Sweden's just doing better. Can delete this trireme now too. Okay, 162 gold per turn. We need some more trade routes. And we've got the World's Fair in now for 270. So let's try and get our Hermitage up. And then we can... I guess we'll, we'll try and get some coal and get factories. Gustavus Adolphus entered the Industrial Era. Musketman being gifted to us. And there is our free social policy and a golden age. Nice. So let's take universal suffrage for the happiness. And then this musketman, we can try and gift it away to a city state because we don't need it ourselves. Something like Bucharest actually could very much do with it. And then we should actually give Bucharest a gift of gold. Well, saves us a tiny bit by going for a thousand. But we need the culture right now. Venice grew. Okay. We still need to get that sh that cocoa. We should just do that now. We should pay for it. 
It's been too long and now we're generating extra food. Was nun? Phase 5 GPT and open borders. Rather about 27 at this point. 28. Let's make sure we can grow our capital as tall as we possibly can. And then... Make our way to... I mean, we can take one turn for astronomy, just so that we can get a good spy steel, and then go for replaceable parts. And we're building this ironworks, but we should actually be building hermitage. We need a forge. I can't believe we haven't built a forge yet. Okay, some denunciations. Bucharest has a new ally. We're going to rig Bucharest in a turn. Yeah, we've got a research agreement come down. Cool. And Venice loves the king. So we've got another social policy. We don't need any of the happiness stuff right now. So let's take sovereignty for the gold. Or do we just open patronage to help with our city-state influence stuff? Let's open... Let's grab one... Do we grab one patronage? Sovereignty. Let's grab one patronage to help out with the city-state influence stuff. Now that we get all of our important policies. And then we've got this cargo. Where is it going? We need to see what we need to do with it. So look, city states need a trade route. No. So we just want to go for highest gold, which is Venice to Rio. Bam. That's 10 extra gold per turn that we didn't even know we were having before. We need to get our own truffles back for Bucharest. We'll do that. Uh, one gold per turn for a horse. We don't need to pay for that anymore. Oh, and a research agreement with Arabia. Yes. This is going to cost us 4 GPT, okay. And then, uh, this deal with for Marvel, we don't need that anymore. And we'll get our truffles back. So that's going to give us book arrest. Yes, nice. We rig book arrest selection and then we're going to get them. So now we can work on Bogota. And we've got a hermitage down, so we're up to 82 culture per turn. So book arrest, next turn we're going to get them in. So now we would need to work on Bogota. We're 71 behind here, so we need to save up a lot of gold for that. But that's fine, we've got a big golden age going. We're sort of working the best we can right now. Great right, scientists in three, but we want to start saving those. We're going for ironworks. This seems like it could be good. The East India Company. We need to get our production up right now with ironworks, but as soon as we finish that... I mean yeah, more deals to come. We were giving away our truffles, but we're not anymore. Jerusalem has a new ally. It's fine because our ally is Larsa. We do need this faith. Cape Town got liberated. Okay. Oh, Cape Town was the one that we needed the trade route for. Can't oh, steal from Sweden. Oh, that's unfortunate. Maybe then we put this spy into Eif. Because we would love to be able to get Eif. We're on the borders, on, on the borderline with them right now. We could try doing this gift of gold to Zurich. And then we need to get marble for Hong Kong. So I don't know if we go get the marble again. We can't really. Okay. We'll trade away our gold though, because we didn't need to get gold back. And we'll take this wine again. Not the wine, this, not the silk, the wine, this, the wine. And then we need to build our factory in Venice too. We don't have a coal. Let's buy a coal. I trust you are a friend to Liberty. And then we've got iron to give away to anyone who wants okay. it. I'm listening. We better keep our truffles now. Unless we're getting truffles from multiple sources. Yeah, we're not importing truffles. We need to find this natural wonder. Who knows where it is? But that would be kind of big for our game if we can do that. We need a caravel. We also probably should have opened Commerce for Big Ben. We've got a lot of stuff we need right now in a five-turn factory. A lot of stuff we need. Sorry this has caused a divide between us. It doesn't really matter anyway, fortunately. Oh yeah, we need to get this natural wonder quest with Bogota. We're going to have to give them a gift of gold right here to stay friends. We're now only 26 behind. 
I wonder if the next I round of rigging we get will probably take us over the top. Yeah, 64% chance already for us to just go and take them over with a coup. But we don't really want to be queuing city-states because we don't want to give up that culture. Great scientist born in Venice. Now we save. We definitely just save these. We've got three turns left on our golden age. Factories, caravels. Yep, good stuff. We'll see if we can find this last natural wonder with a caravel. Uh, Japan doesn't want to do a good deal for iron anymore. Looks like the age of selling iron might be over. Complete, no, Arabian autocracy. Come on, someone's got to go freedom. Venice grew again. Now we grew to the food. We're just going to have to work the food. Seems fine. And let's sleep the scientist and we've got a caravel. So where can we go looking to try and find this thing? There's a big gap in here that we haven't looked in yet. So maybe that's where we go look. We try and look in this whole big gap there. Which means we go out this way past Japan. Probably gift this archer away. This, oh, this, we can gift this away to Bogota. Don't need it. Because we've got visibility on that tile now. We've still got our research agreements very well. I wonder if we try and friend the Iroquois now. What going on? We yep. can't. He's friendly though. We relocated the World Congress to their land, so maybe let's try and friend them. We can like give them six gold That's and get the we've traded good. recently thing. Arabian Settler. Okay. If it means I can delete those units, that'll be good. Declaration of Friendship with America expired. Let's hope we can get another one. Hey. No? Well, at least we got our last research group with them. It's up in five hey. turns, though. Let's do everything oh, we can yeah. to try and get it back by sending them this gold gift. And now we need to go plastics. How do we win this game as Venice from here? We're at 175 gold per turn right now. Golden Age ends. Okay, we've got this trade route up. That was going to Tokyo. Any city-state quests? Of course not. We actually need horses for a couple of quests. That's kind of good. Okay, so what's the highest gold? That's this one, Prague to Rio, actually. And then Kathmandu, Venice to Medina, though, is kind of close behind. We've already got that. Venice to Stockholm is interesting. Probably just take it to Stockholm. We can delete this warrior now. Don't need it. Just go up there, make sure the barb camps aren't spawning. We've got any important buildings to build. We need a bank. After this factory. We don't really need production right now, in fairness. Oh, and we need to give a gift of gold to this city-state that was just declining ice. So we need to keep our faith up. Let's give them 500. And we can adopt another social policy. Do we go commerce for Big Ben? Or do we go for, like, philanthropy? Or we work through a little bit of this. Freedom. Let's so work through a little bit of freedom because there's a good policy in there that I want. Okay, and we have this trade route to Rio, which is definitely the best we've got. Keep going with this. Get a factory done, and then we go bank and stock exchange. Embargo America or embargo Iroquois. Let's not vote for any of that. I need to give away iron to someone. I'll buy it. We can sell silver or truffles to Brazil. Yeah, we're buying salt back. We don't have any duplicates anymore, so we probably don't want to do that sale. Okay, we've got a factory down. Embargo America passed. Okay, so we probably can't trade with America anymore. And now what do we go for? We can't do world ideology freedom. Apparently that would annoy everyone. Cultural heritage sites. We don't have any world wonders. Maybe we'll get one. International games. We, the trouble is we can't actually back ourselves to get international games, being OCC Venice. Okay, this trade route's up to Tokyo. I guess they're just all the ones that were being sent to America. And this trade route's up as well to Portland, I guess, of Sweden. We're actually missing out a couple of good trades. Prague to Rio would have been good. 
Venice is going to get to pot 30 though. That's what we wanted to see. I don't know if we work the Musicians Guild now too. We should perhaps try and build that. Yeah, I do. Borders of Venice grew to more iron. Cool. That's some more sales and Venice itself grew. Work a factory slot for the science. Don't really want to work two, so we can just work the one. Uh, but there's copper available from Japan. I get the sense that it's going to be quite expensive for us to purchase it from them. Yeah, it is. Let's not worry about it. We'll just give away our iron. Okay, America doesn't want to pay a reasonable price for it anymore. I wonder if we try and get our friends with Sweden now. Sweden might go freedom. Maybe Sweden will offer us friendship, especially if we go ideology. We need a couple of AIs to go ideology. In recent elections, we've got another artist. Okay, so the question is, can we afford to engineer the Statue of Liberty? The answer, I'm sure, is no. Afford should be kind of good. Maybe do that next. I also need the Musicians Guild. We can't really afford to engineer the Statue of Liberty because we just... I mean, we don't really have the faith. What do we? We've got 31. We've got another 40, 50 turns probably. At that rate, we can get 30 times 50. Is, what is that? Like a 1,500? So we might not get three scientist purchases, but we might be able to get three scientist purchases. Science purchases. Scientist purchases. So we just have to save that. We're getting a Merchant of Venice in seven turns. We're from Prague. Oh, please don't produce one, Prague. Prague's going to produce a Merchant. Unless we can get a lab down faster. Let's start Golden Age. Save some time building the statue. And maybe one turn the Forge ahead of it. We'll go Musician's Guild ahead of it. Don't know. Maybe Musicians Guild ahead of it. We need all the culture we can get, so let's just get it done. It looks like we are going to generate a merchant. Well, we're going to have to do something with a merchant. We don't want to be taking on another city-state now, but we do probably want to be getting an ally. How close are we here? 27 now in that city-state. Bogota. So let's do that. Let's hit him. And see if we can find this other natural wonder to shore up the influence there. Prague demands silk. We don't need to worry about that. And Musician's Guild is going to go up and then we can do Statue. We need to get a stock exchange out too. This is why we really do want to be building Statue right now. We will purchase a research lab though. Sorry, this has caused a divide between us. We're going to be done building buildings though once we're done with all of this. We need to try and secure another friend. Is it in down here? The natural wonder? No. I don't want to have to discover it with satellites. That's not what we I want to do. Any of these people want What's friendships? Okay, in the Iroquois have gone for friends. That's What's good. Hiawatha needs 169. We kind of have to just let him get that. It's, we, it's a really bad deal to be giving the AI gold, I think. Okay, so we've got the Iroquois, even though they're order. We still don't have a freedom person, but maybe that's going to be Sweden. It'd be nice if it is Sweden. Hmm. Alright, I've got a bit of a bought screen here. Yeah, so this would be nice if it was. We probably still need to keep feeding Venice for the time being. As much as we like that gold. It would be great to get friends with Sweden because we can make use of that plus 10% great person generation. The relation of friendship expired plus. with Germany. I don't anticipate getting that back. So oh, hello. We got it back. Nice. Okay, that research agreement goes off in six. So we're going to be able to get another one. That's good news. We're working on the statue. 229 gold per turn. We're unfortunately going to get a merchant. Next great artist comes in 17, though. Here's the 
We can almost Golden Age for a, a lot of the rest of this game. We need to give away some more iron. No, we don't need to pay for any wars. The Iroquois would like six iron. I think we just got some iron improved. That's going to be good for a gold per turn. Nice. Venice's King's Day lasts for another six. No, no war. Not there, whatever we were looking for. The natural wonder. They've just got Ife to get now. They're 63 away. And then we need to start thinking about all of these other city-states. When we get horses, we can start working on them. Almaty. Almaty will probably be our next best bet because they even want a merchant and we're going to generate one. There's no way of us doing stopping it. Wait, do we not get... Oh, we haven't got a research group with the Iroquois yet because they didn't have enough gold. No, let's not sell our last horse yet. There's the research agreement. We need to give them some gold. Apparently four. Are we leading in tech? No, we're actually 3% behind, but somehow they wanted us to give them gold. We're actually going to get a merchant for Almaty. That's totally, definitely a bad thing. Oh, we built this Musician's Guild and we didn't work it. F. Let's do that. We could work a bank slot too. 42 turns for a merchant seems okay. Are we working anything rubbish that we can give up? Yeah. Then a screw. Cool. City connection established. Oh, we didn't have a harbour somewhere. We didn't have a harbour between Prague and Venice. Oh, that took a while for Prague to build a harbour. We're actually getting Colosseum there, which is going to be good. We got this cargo that's up to Medina. We're going to go straight for oil, I guess, after labs, so that we can get that biology, those two biology trade routes, and then the railroad ones. Two turns for this great merchant to be spawned in Prague, and there's nothing we can do about it because it went a bit of a stock exchange. But we can try and ally a city-state. Zurich wants a gift of gold. Four turns remaining. 91 influence there, so bam, Zurich is ours. One more ally. And we actually have these trade routes going up for Jerusalem now, which wants the natural wonder. And we have one going up for Malacca. Okay, so these are these are definitely two that we can work on. We'll give away our horse now that we don't need to save. Oh no, we gave away our horse. We're going to have to trade for a horse again. Why? Oh no, we stopped, just stop selling this horse, come on. Did you say quests? Declaration of friendship expired with Brazil, let's get another one. Good. We have our horse back now, but we haven't got those quests through yet. Do we need philanthropy? Probably, gold gift seems better right now. We're trying out something new. Trying to gold gift our way perhaps to a, a, um, a diplomatic victory given we've got some good gold per turn and trade routes coming. We need to purchase labs next turn. Sweden really likes us. All you've got to do, Sweden, is friend. No, let's not give away our one horse. Because we need to time it with a merchant for Almaty. Sorry this has caused a divide between us. We're going to get Almaty as allies if this goes through. No, stop trying to buy our horse. We need a horse right now. There we go. Merchant of Venice has been born in Prague. So what do we do? So the Merchant of Venice just needs to go get us an ally, basically. So Almaty, we've got 80 influence. We're one off Arabia. Ife, we are 64 behind. Where are we for Ormus? We're a ways behind the Iroquois. And then we have Cahokia as well. Where is Cahokia? Someone relatively close that we need to take, probably. Makes sense, right? So who have we got that's close that we want to take? Jerusalem, 137. Antwerp wants us to build the Eiffel Tower. Hong Kong is over here. Wants marble. We know that we can get marble. Malacca. No, we don't really want to travel too far with the merchant. Jerusalem might be a good target. 137. But we can send them a trade route, so we'll get a reasonable amount of influence. And then if we find this natural wonder, we'll get them. So let's go for Jerusalem with the merchant. And then let's go back to this one remaining bit of area that we haven't seen to see if we can find it. 
we are getting really good culture right now. I think we need to probably find this get up to nearly 600 in order to make it worth going for. And it has nearly 600, actually. So maybe we just bulb that at the end of our golden age. No more cultural city-states. We need some more face city-states. This is why Jerusalem is the next target. Unless we want to go and get Eif. But where we are, 64 behind. Is Eif far? I've lost Eif again. Oh, Eif is over there. Eif is a little far. We'll probably get just as much going for Jerusalem. Because we'll have a trade route up at some point. Oil from Bogota, that's good. Those from Washington ended. Good day. Let's buy those back again. Proceed. Now, before we start getting hurt with ideological pressure, we need to do everything we can. Oh, cool. This spearman is not needed anymore. We'll save it because I've got my eyes on a certain freedom policy that will actually make it useful to gift away. We need that natural wonder, though, in the worst way. Because we've got loads of quests for it right now. And then this marble, natural wonder for Hong Kong, would be good. But right now, we just need to get that trade route for Jerusalem. So when's our next trade route up? One turn. Venice to Kyoto. So we'll send that to Jerusalem and then we'll great merchant them. Golden Age for one turn is up. We're going to build the statue in two. Don't know that we've got any more freedom as yet. No. Oh, it's just us. We're civil resistance. Minus 11 happiness, but we've got 15. Research agreement comes through for archaeology. Nice. And now we can... Yeah, they want to buy it with 1,000 gold for the trade mission. Wow. I guess that's a bonus of the Merchant of Venice. It's like a souped up gold gift thing. Boom. Okay, nice. And then we had a trade that was up in Venice that was originally going somewhere, wasn't it? Yeah, so that was going to Kyoto for 18, but it now needs to be Jerusalem for the quest. And then we need to see about other quests. Venice demands copper. We can't really get that, but maybe we should try. So we got one more trade request, that was Jerusalem. So we don't have any more apart from if we want to try for Malacca. 136, it's friendly, so it might be worth it. Let's have a look at our trade routes. Let's see, that, let's make sure it's not too much of a bad deal to go for Malacca. And if it isn't, we will do it. Malacca is 21 from Venice. So it's actually a reasonable deal. We miss on the 28 from Prague to Rio though. And then we'll bulb this musician. We're going to get the statue next turn. Oh, we forgot to purchase labs. We've been sitting on it ages without even doing anything about the research labs. Oh dear. Well, we've got one now. We're going to grow in 10. This tile is virtually useless, so let's put it in the lab slot. Can't believe we've been spending so long without working the lab slot. It's turn 150. We could have had this several turns ago, right? I mean, we just finished plastics and burned through this stuff, so it's like two or three turns we've been missing it. That's not good. But we've purchased it now, and that's going to give us room to build stuff like stock exchanges. We'll we'll sell our luxuries on our own terms. We've been burnt too many times by um, giving stuff away on the opponent's terms. Yeah, we'll do some sales on our own turn here. We can try and get this cotton from cotton from Germany. Oh, research agreement. Yes, please. We're not doing a good job of keeping up with the research agreements right now. We're still not friends with Sweden. Statue comes down. Nice. Another social policy. Do we... What do we do? Do we want consulates? Do we want staca scholasticism? Do we need to go through rationalism now? Science buildings? We've got a few allies, so st scholasticism is probably actually science at this point. Let's see how much it is. We've got 493. 533. Not bad. We're going to get more allies too. Rig some elections. Discovered oil. Where? Okay, let's send a worker to go get that oil up and we can sell the oil too. So this trade route, we need to send it somewhere. So let's send it to Malacca. Get a quest, 21 gold per turn, not bad. We're going to build this forge apparently, but we should really build some cargoes. Because we got two more from getting to oil tech. And then a research agreement with Pedro goes through, so let's get another one. Hola. Yeah, he's going to make us pay for it. Got that. Let's check we don't need any other research agreements. We don't, because we're not friends with Sweden. We need to be friends with Sweden. Okay, good. We're friends with Sweden. Research agreement. No, they're going to make us pay for it as well. 
Well, we paid for it, and then well, this cotton yeah. we do probably want to pay for, Four just bits. because we need to keep our happiness up in case we get hit by massive ideological pressure. And then let's trade away our iron and horses on oh, our own terms. Did I just pay for a resource that I could have traded for? Yeah, not I feel like that's something that we probably just did. But let's sell our lux. This just takes oh, spins 200 man, gold. Woman. We'll be able to do something with it. Okay, so we got a lot of city-state friends. So Jerusalem, we become allies. 36 influence required. We need this natural wonder. Let's just bomb 55 in them. Let's get that. Okay, I. I fell down to friends apparently, or we were never there before. We can give them 55 and also be allies with them. And that's all science. So let's give all of that away. Get six gold per turn back as well, that's good. So we start stacking up the allies now. We've got six, which are all giving us loads of science. And then Eiffel goes. Uh, no, let's sell these on our own terms. So we don't give away our last copy. We've got another writer. We probably should have burned our last writer, actually. This is a cargo ship, though. Highest gold. Now, we're missing out on a big gold trade. We're missing out on Prague to Rio. So, let's move this to Prague. And this writer comes down. I guess we'll burn the writers at the end of our next golden age, whenever that may be. In fact, it's probably our choice when we golden age now. And then, let's do these truffles on our own terms again. So, yes, another 200 gold, I guess. Was habt ihr gesagt? Let's do that. Give away the horses for two. Okay, what do we need? Marble to start working on Hong Kong. And the natural wonder. Any quests for the ones that we're friends with? Nothing that we can do. Almaty, we're zero away. So give them 500. Oh, we found the natural wonder. Yes. That's big. I enjoy that a lot. And we've got another friend, and hopefully that will turn into more friends. We need to vote for the world leader now. Let's vote for ourselves. Or do we... we I mean, we're not going to win it, because the Iroquois is still the host. So we need to vote for the Iroquois. We're one turn too late on that. Let me just turn the lights on in the background. Okay. So... What do we got? We've still got some culture. I think our culture's going okay. We've got a lot of allies now, and that's really helping our science. It's better than anything else we could do at this point. It's about 152, so we're not doing bad. German order, come on. What is this? It's a unit promotion because we got given a wing to Saad. That's the Polish special unit. Heavy charge. Forced to retreat if it takes more damage than it receives. Interesting. Sentry. Medic. Oh no, nothing there was particularly useful. We'll hold that to give it away just in case we take the freedom policy. We need to get a worker over. We've got this random worker sitting in Prague. Let's get the oil. And then we'll get this oil. We've got this cargo to send away. So we're going to do the Prague to Rio one. So we just need Prague to Mecca. Unless there's a city-state quest. There isn't. So Prague Prague to Mecca. Um, oh, actually we've got a Saka from the capital. Let's do that. And then Prague to Rio. And sleep this. We need to get another Golden Age down. Is now the right time? Yeah, eight turns for the artist. So now is a perfectly fine time. And then we can bulb our writer spirit at the end of this as well. Make sure to get some more social policies. No, we don't want war. So what do we do? We don't need any of this in patronage anymore. So we just need to make sure to work through rationalism now. Sorry, this has caused a divide between us. Work through rationalism and get what we need of our ideology. This is done. What was this doing? Where's this going? Okay, it was going to Kyoto, but there are better trades. Let's make sure we always get the best trade. It is Prague to Mecca, followed by Kathmandu to Mecca. So let's just send Kathmandu to Mecca. We probably need to get a seaport at some point. East India Company. Oh, we're getting the East India Company now. So let's go East India, Stock Exchange, Seaport. We're doing the best we can out of all of these specialists. Need to make sure not to generate an engineer. That's a brilliant tile. We need to work that forge tile now. And we can actually work this extra food. 
for a bit. And then we'll grow into these two tiles and then be done with it, I guess, at that point. There's not too much benefit in growing Venice too much taller. We don't need to spice this for any city-state quests. We still only need marble for one of these city-states, actually. Let's see who we can get marble from. We've got so much happiness now. I don't think we need to worry about buying Lux Trades anymore. We're paying 28 gold per turn for that cocoa. We need copper. Could be kind of good to keep growing Venice for a bit. So see if we can get Japan's copper. They apparently like us. So then we've got to turn on open borders. Nice. Let's make it eight or nine. Good. So we're going to get copper. So we're going to get another King's Day. Now we need marble for a city-state quest. Good day. Proceed. Uh, we'll, we'll look at it through this thing again. We've already had marble before, but I guess we get it again once more. Marble from Pedro. And marble from Hiawatha. What so let's see if Hiawatha is better. Yeah, so 15 gold per turn and truffles seems fine. Okay, 17. It'll be 18. Let's get the marble. That's another city-state quest. Brazil went freedom. Finally, we got a freedom friend. And we generated a scientist. Have we got any more natural wonders to find? Or from discovering natural wonders. It feels like we've got more, but I wasn't actually properly checking. We might get another natural golden age at some point. Yeah, we don't have research agreements with America, but we've got research agreements with most other people. Still turn 155, so we're not doing bad. Actually going to have pretty good timing to get to some of this these more expensive techs. But look, stealth, nanotech, 13 turns. There's no way we can make that faster. Oh, we're in railroad now. If there's any, there doesn't seem to be a natural wonder up there. Sleep that. Okay, so that's our research agreement with Haran al-Rashid. Venice loves the king. We can adopt a policy. We probably don't need any more of these patronage policies. Let's go for, is this one Arsenal Democracy? 15 influence gifting military units to city-states. That's what we've been waiting for. So, Hong Kong needs 46. So, Hong Kong, you can have 25 influence now. What do you need? Have the tri-ring. For Hong Kong. Ormus, how far away are we? 76 there. But we don't want to go too hard on the gifting. 75 there. Malacca, 95. Or do we want to go hard on the gifting? I mean, it's 46 for Hong Kong. We would need to make sure to get Hong Kong. And then we can do Ormus perhaps as well. Let's do that. And then we'll just give units to those two cities. And then we can just like spam army. And gift it away for 20 influence. What do we need next? Anything that gets us science. So probably atomic theory for that academy stuff. And we need to build some more cargo ships. From Venice. We could purchase some. Do we need to purchase some? Probably just want to stack gold. Because we've got the production to build them anyway. We're at 106 production right now in the capital. It's not a good number at all. But it is what we've got. We're speeding our way through though. Venice OCC. Cargo. Highest gold. I'm imagining this might be the highest gold, but let's check. Venice to Burka. See if we can find this natural wonder anywhere, if there is another one. Car religion or world religion? No, sorry. What's it called? So we've got... We've got cultural heritage sites or world religion Protestantism. We actually have Catholicism in one of our cities, but it couldn't hurt to get Protestantism in. I don't know how we do that though, because we need we need to get somehow have it the majority religion in one of our cities, which it just isn't going to do. So let's try and let the AI vote it down, and we can instead vote for our cultural heritage sites. The more culture, the better. We have only got one wonder. But the more culture, the absolutely better. Oh, we've actually got two because we've got the porcelain tower. The we were buying that coal. We don't need that anymore. Ah. We should think about actually museums and broadcast towers in Venice. For all the culture we can get. Hospital would be okay. We don't really need the in increased growth though. Ultra heritage sites passes where religion fails. Good. That's what we wanted. Now we can make a proposal again. World ideology. We still can't really pass world ideology. I mean, we can try it, but it'll make everyone angry. Historical landmarks. That makes people angry. 
International games. We'd need four turns to get into that, and maybe we propose it. We might be able to get the bonuses from that now, because I feel a lot more confident about Venice's production. We can't, unfortunately, work the engineer slot. We're so close to accidentally generating an engineer over a scientist, so we don't have any more room. And then Cologne looks like a good, good deal. See if we can get... Still? Can't... I don't know if there is another natural wonder to find, but clearly we went to the wrong place. We need to give away this archer to Hong Kong. Can't afford to do it yet. Well, let's wait. We need to see about getting another ally, though. So Malacca, we're 95 behind. We can get 115 with 1,000 gold. So let's do it. And then Antwerp, we're 75 behind. 1,000 gold. And then we're going to get stock exchanges. We're currently okay. running at a massive 391 gold per Sorry, turn okay, as Venice. Japan's trying to give us a bad deal. Can we trade gold for Lux? We actually can. Here's the fun. So let's do that. We don't need any Luxes for city states. We can go gold for spices. Sorry, Germany, we just lost that deal. Give away the iron. There goes Christo. We need to give away our iron again. Musician has been born. We've got an opera house somewhere, apparently, so that's good. We've got 12 more turns to grow in Venice. There's no... We don't have any more science that we can possibly work there, apart from a couple of trading posts. So we'll, we won't worry about stagnating Venice at all. We'll just let it continue growing. And we need to give away all of our oil now for gold. Seems a bit bad. We need to try not to get killed. So we should be aware of that at some point, that some AIs may want to bore us. And we've got spare gold, have we not? No, we don't have spare gold anymore. I mean, we, for all intents and purposes, we have spare gold, though. Let's just sell it for 200. Okay. Now, Hong Kong. We're only 26 behind now, so we can gift away this archer. And then here, we are 57 behind in Ormus. So we want to gift away something else, this spearman. Nice. And then we'll just um, give these... 55 for good, some influence for good measure. Make sure we keep it. And then we've only got two more city states to work on. Now we need to think about starting the Diplo victory stuff here. So we have a lot of votes. And we've got our spies in city states right now, but we want to start transforming, transforming them into diplomats. Perhaps after the next round of, of city state rigging elections, we can start transforming them to diplomats. And we've got another artist. Cool. Oh. So what's this artist going to do? Just wait. If we can find this natural wonder anywhere, if there is one. I mean, it's a standard map size. We only found four natural wonders, so I feel like there definitely are some. And yeah, once these rigs go off, we'll move them along into diplomats. Okay, capital. We don't really need any of these buildings at all. I mean, we could build some bombers or something for defense, but let's go for a museum. Don't know if any of the AIs would want to kill us right now. We are top tech with 69%. It's not bad. Nine turns for another scientist in Kathmandu. That's cool. Yeah, we're still just about behind on the engineers here in Venice. Let's go museum. We'll go museum broadcast tower to work maximum culture. No, we don't need to give that away anymore. Who's gone? Sweden went order. That's unfortunate. We were really hoping to get friends with them. When are our research agreements up? 11, 16, 17... We've missed one with Arabia. We should get that back. Oh, we need we need friendship with Arabia. Who's declined? Okay. Japan is at war with America, Germany, and Cahokia. We really don't want to annoy Germany. Someone built Prora. That's fine. Okay, quests. Neuschweinstein. We can't build that. Discover a natural wonder for Almaty. We'd love to do that, but we can't right now. Almost. We're going to be 58 behind. We need to give them the 500 gold whenever we can spare it. Which seems like now. You reckon there's a natural wonder up in Brantford? The Iroquois might want to let us through their open borders. Oh. That might not have been a good idea, actually, but hopefully they're not going for tourism victory. So, Ormus. 55. I believe we've got our unit turning up soon, though. 
And when these these rigs have just gone off. So we probably want to go and turn these into diplomats. Ready to look for this diplo victory. So how do we see this mapping out? Uh, yeah, let's work together. Okay, research agreement. Cool. Yeah, friends with Arabia, nice. Apparently America's plotting against us. We should actually probably be wary of that. That ally of Ormus, nice. Yeah, that's that come through in our golden age ends, but we've still got 435 gold per turn. So what do we do? America may war us. So we need them to war someone. Proceed. Let's get them to declare war on the Iroquois. No? Of course not. Sweden. No. Arabia? No. no. Germany? No, okay. So we need to go try and go back the other way. So America, no. Let's try these guys now for America. Also no. Sweden for America? No. Arabia for America. No. Japan for America. Already at war apparently. And Brazil for America. Hola. Apparently they've got a bit of a deal or something going on. These are all with Japan, Brazil and Sudan right now. I wonder if they'll go to war with Arabia? No. Well, if they're coming for us, we should build some army. So let's maybe think about that. We'll keep the oil that we've got right now. There's no natural wonder up there. This car goes up. It's going to Tokyo, so let's send it back. 449 gold per turn without a golden age. Okay, the trade route got plundered. We need to do something about America. He wants open Here's borders. The trade of interest. Okay. Let's actually try and make him happier with us, because we've got open borders now. That's a positive dipl diplomatic modifier. We've only got two more city-states left to gain influence over. 55 needed for Cahokia. And Japan, we need 92 on Sidon. So let's go for Sidon. And then in a couple of turns, we can get the last one. We probably need to build some armies, so let's get some great war bombers. Just make sure we're not, like, really easily killable and we can bomb everything we need to. 441 gold per turn. Alright, how many cities that allies do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We can get 13 allies. And so, you get 12, 1 per ally right now, but I'm pretty sure that goes up to 2 per ally, doesn't it? At some point. How do we, how do we fight, figure out if that goes up to 2 per ally? I'm sure it did. Is it the atomic era that it happens is two per ally? I thought it did. But I don't actually see it right now. Yeah, we go for atomic theory and then we need to just go straight for globalization in any case. But I thought it was two per ally. Anyway, if it is two per ally, we'll have 26 votes. And then we'll be able to get two from each diplomat as well with globalization. So that would be... Yeah, okay, so we can we can get like seven diplomats perhaps. I think that's how many spies we've got. We should actually start putting these in as diplomats now. So, capitals. Stockholm, diplomat. Onondaga, diplomat. And Washington, diplomat. We can start buying votes perhaps off the AI too. No interest in a war, sorry. Iroquois is now ally of Zurich. Oh, very well, we're being denounced by Japan. Yeah, let's keep buying that salt. If he wanted to war us, it feels like he would have been giving us a bad deal for that salt by now. We actually probably need radar for bombers before we go straight for any of this stuff. And we've got another one of these winged hussars we can give away. So who did we just get taken from us? Zurich got taken from us. So the winged hussar can go straight back to them. We've actually got this composite bowman that we can give away. And we can give that away to... Maybe Sidon. Composite bow. With Sidon. And then we can actually give away this last composite bowman in Prague as well. And that can actually go to Cahokia. Make a start. Got this as well that can be gift gifted away. But we're getting some great war bombers. I feel like we should be able we should go for radar before then we make our play for globaliza globalization. We can probably bulb though. 2,500. That's only like four, so maybe we've got a little bit more. But no. I feel like that should be higher. 
Maybe it's not. Maybe it doesn't count the city-state stuff that's been going on. Iwatha declared war on Harun al-Rashid. We need to get Japan at war, actually, with probably the Iroquois. Apparently they won't do that. Will Japan do it? I think we've been doing too much of the friendship train right now, and so we're struggling to get people to declare war on anyone. Anyway, these guys are order. So we need to try and find whoever's got autocracy, and perhaps they'll want to go for it. These guys, America, they went order. Germany, did they go for autocracy? They also believe in order. These guys, look, let's have a look at this. Order, 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 order. A couple of freedoms, and autocracy is Arabia. So maybe Arabia will war Japan. No, but they won't war America either. Hmm. All right, well, we'll spill our bombers. Yes, Rio, please. And do we need another broadcast tower? We probably do. We just need another bomber, though. Let's go broadcast tower. Let's try and purchase bombers if we need them. We're going to have a lot of gold left over now. Apparently, Harun is plotting against us. I would love to get them at war with someone. Apparently, we're putting a museum down here as well. Oh, look. Harun is, Washington has declared war on Harun. I, we can probably just go for this artist now. I don't think we're keeping them around for any real great reason. 18 turns for the next one. Don't anticipate building spaceship parts or anything. So let's just go for it. Golden Age. Social policy. Take sovereignty. And more gold. 495 now. And this work is doing nothing over there. Let's bring it back. Okay, and we're going broadcast tower now until the end. Oh, wait, rationalism finisher gives you a bonus to research agreements, doesn't it? No, okay, good. Oh, no, yeah, it does. Scientific revolution. Oh, we should totally get that. That's so bad. Five turns. If we can get that in five turns with two writers, I think we'll just do it. Now ally zero. Good. We've just got Cahokia to go. 35 influence needed. Okay, we've got everyone. We need to get horses back. We need to get iron. Let's not kind of be silly about it and just like buy a horse for one. And also buy an iron for one. But we can't buy an iron from him. If I buy an iron from you, that's okay, it's fine. Just need to go and look right now to see if he's got any iron spare. Buy one iron from you. We need to keep our oil. Sleep that worker. So we never found that natural wonder yet. And that's going to give us two more city state quests. We've got more scientists to purchase. This doesn't seem to be going up much. I, need, I want to get us into the Atomic Era just in case this becomes like World Congress and we need to wait for two rounds of this thing. Iron connected to the last are nice. And the horses. In we go. Is it the info era we need to get or something? We need to go for like an info era rush. Is that what we need? Okay, we got the broadcast tower up now though. And so we'll go back to building bombers. Did we rush info? Maybe. 2519. Rationalism finishes soon. We got a spy, so we need to pop that in yet another capital. No, not that one. Who's the one that's unassigned? Uh, Mecca is the capital of Arabia, right? Now, where's Arabian territory? Yeah, Mecca is the capital. So let's go diplomat in there. And then we get one more diplomat from being info era. So maybe we should push for that. And these writers can both go down and get us the rationalism finisher as well. Let's take something good with it at least. I mean, it might need to be penicillin if we want to rush it. We're going to get one more. Oh, when well, are we supposed to be generating a scientist? Why are we getting a merchant now? Merchant in one. Scientist in three. Kathmandu has finished a stock exchange or something. And so we're actually going to generate a merchant first. Huh. 
That's unfortunate. We need to finish rationalism. We can maybe go and take penicillin. And then bulb through some of these things. Let's try that. Rationalism finishing next turn. We can actually get 700. How much do we need? Yeah, the whole 1400. Is that going to go up? 163, 5, 300, 900. Oh, that's probably still going up. Let's wait one more turn. We need to try and rush our way into the next era if we can. If that's how it gets started, that's how it gets started. We're pretty ready. Sixteen votes right now. We got this merchant of Venice thing. Can't believe we've generated another one. Let's just send it into Jerusalem. This cargo was to Rio, so let's do that. Where's this natural wonder? Don't know, I guess it's inland somewhere. How long until this scientist now? Seven turns. Okay. How long until the engineer? Just to make sure we don't generate one of them. Twelve turns, okay. So we've got seven turns for the scientist. We can rationalism finish now for penicillin. And if we want globalization, that's fine. So let's do that. Where's, where's, where's our city? Next turn. Oh, we're not really going to have a scientist to do anything, so let's push it this turn. Take this scientific revolution and go in for penicillin. And then we've got ecology into globalization up there. We don't want to research globalization though, we can Oxford that. Apparently we can no longer get great scientists in there, but we can in here. See 70. It's unfortunate we lost our religion in that city. Building another bomber. 502 gold per turn. Kremlin goes, that's fine. We can buy another scientist next. We could purchase an engineer, but I don't know what we'd build with it. I guess it would have been Oxford if we tried it. But it's quite a lot of text out of our way. Let's get another scientist here. And this was going to Venice for food. We're going to starve in 282 turns, so let's send that for production to Venice. Do we need production in Venice? Probably not. Probably worth it for gold at this point. We get another bomber. Get another cargo ship. Oh, we can get another couple of cargoes. Very cool. Um, build one by one. And sleep these bombers. This much in a Venice. No, don't buy the city state. Get me a thousand gold. We're up to three thousand gold now. Delete this pikeman. No, gift away the pikeman to whoever our lowest influence city state is. Okay, 3320. If we did want to go all science parts, we only need about 12k. We can't buy science parts yet, though. We need six turns for that. We should take that just in case. I mean, we're not going science victory at this point now that we're going globalization. So, telecoms. Oh, we need to finish Oxford then. Next turn. Have we got one turn on that? Oxford, one turn. Cool. So... Finish researching telecoms, and then we'll go back down for bombers. There goes our research agreement. We've actually grown Prague's borders to another copy of Truffles, which is kind of interesting. Let's get the worker over. It's going to be a while, but we'll get there eventually. Remember, like, hundreds of turns ago when we chopped that jungle down? That's what we just got. Ice gold. Let's check, make sure we're getting good gold. So, Venice to Hamburg, Venice to Dortmund. So Venice to Hamburg. Any quests? Nope. So Venice to Dortmund. And oh, we got another one here. This one finished. What's our next best trade route? Venice to Buffalo Creek. And another one. What's our next best trade route? Venice to Osininka. And we can assign our delegates to... I mean, we don't want international games at this point. Don't need any of that. 
No. Okay. And we are info era now. So what does that mean we got? Oh, we've got one of these guys that we can put in a city. We need to put it into someone's cap. We need this research agreement again. Is it like three? Four? Five? Wow, okay. Six? Seven? Eight? Oh my god. Okay, nine. And then this unassigned person goes to Rio Diplomat. That'd be Brazil's capital. Let's just check. Make sure we're not doing anything dumb. Where's Brazil's cities? Yeah, there's Rio. That's their capital right now. Got a musician. Oxford. Globalization. Cool. So, make a proposal. So, we're still in the World's Congress. We've got 20 votes right now. Feels like time for world ideology freedom. We'll annoy everyone, though. We don't really want to go to war with everyone. Right, what's our best gold again? Venice to Frankfurt. And this museum, museum, musician. Do we need it? That's what we need to figure out right now: is do we need the world, world ideology freedom? Mm. So, World Congress. When does it become the world leader? Votes. One per ally. That would get us 26, 29. That'd be like 33 votes. We're trying to trigger the world leader vote. Let's go for world ideology freedom, just in case we need it. And try and bully that through. And then, because the AI might take offence to that, let's build another Great War Bomber. And perhaps some nuclear submarines. Then this needs to convert to the World's Congress, and then we just need to see what goes on. Do we need like a certain amount of people in the Atomic Era or something? Or do we need like a certain tech? My relationship with Germany is broken down. I no, I have no interest in the in that announcement. Very well, okay. Arabia is at war with the Iroquois, America, and Germany right now, so that's fine. Oh, here we go. United Nations. So six delegates for the host, four for other civilizations, two per ally. So, how does that set us up? We've got 34 votes right now. We need 37. Three more votes needed. Oh, but we can host ourselves. And that'll be Venice. Okay. And then, next turn. Yeah, so it just took us a while to get into the info era, it seems. And so we needed to go, like, info or something for a couple of turns in order to trigger this thing. I mean, we did the best we can. Except an embassy, okay. We've got 4,000 gold. We're definitely not going to go science victory first. We don't have the tech for that, because we're Venice. We have actually got 700 science, which is pretty cool. We are going to get one scientist and a new unit from Sedan. What's that? Is this um, a SAR again? Well, we'll sit on top of it. Actually, no, we'll, we'll keep um, doing the thing where we gift it away for wherever we have the fewest amount of, smallest amount of influence, which I guess is Zurich. Oh, I gave them a thousand. They're not the smallest anymore. We misclicked and gave them a thousand gold. <laughs> there we go. Hussar for Armity. And sleep another bomber. We'll just keep building bombers. Probably want nuke subs as well at some point. Okay. No one's hating on us too, too much yet for our proposal. I guess they'll denounce us for it in a little bit. Not quite now. Golden Age ends next turn. So we're going to go down from our 621 gold per turn. We've got some oil to sell. Oh no, we're trying to give away. We're trying to give away iron. Okay, so what's the situation? So, the World's Congress, the next World Leader vote... Oh, goodbye. Is in... Is it 19 turns? Es wäre in eurem Interesse. Okay, yeah, he doesn't want that deal anymore. And then... Our next session is 13 turns. And we're up to 37 now. 
Because I think we got our final diplomat in. Schmoozing. Let's just take some random promotions on here. New unit from Armity. Okay. We need to give the give, give this away to the city state with the lowest influence, which actually happens to be Armity. Apparently we can't gift them a unit yet. So let's gift it to Cahokia. Get another social policy soon. We can I mean we don't we're not gonna win by space. So we need to try and figure out a better place to put it. Commerce for Big Ben, but I don't know if any of the AIs have built Big Ben. Let's keep an eye out for Big Ben. We don't see Big Ben, so we could go for Big Ben. Alternatively, there might be something in patronage we can use. Quantity of resources gifted and happiness is doubled. No. Okay. So we probably just want to take commerce and try and grab Big Ben in case we need to gold purchase an army. We've got some research agreements hopefully coming down soon. Radar is in. We've got another great scientist. Let's actually, before we get a bit rash about this and go commerce for Big Ben, let's bulb this for rocketry. Yeah, three turns for rocketry. So we're still a long way off. So we go commerce. And is Big Ben still here? It is, five turns, nice. And we can upgrade all of these to bombers. And our research agreement is up with Germany. So let's see if we can get one more research, research agreement back with them before we inevitably lose our friendship because I just proposed world ideology freedom. No. Okay, next turn. Sweden still wants our horses, that's good. No city-states want horses. There's a gift of gold quest for Ormus. Oh, no, we, we want to go to Sweden. Yep, there we go. So go to Sweden, give away the horses. Japan went order, they finally chose an ideology. New research agreement comes down. We've got research agreements with everyone that matters. Apparently, Neuschwanstein, CN Tower. Neuschwanstein. It's not something that we can build, unfortunately. Another research agreement comes through. We've just got nuclear fission. Let's again go for Hubble and then advance ballistics and then click nanotech. Two research agreements went down. Let's get those back. Just in case we're still here in 25 turns for some random reason. It might be useful. Hola. Pedro needs 118. Yeah, sure. We'll give you 120. And then research agreement for like nine. No. Cool. Units need orders. Yeah. See if the natural wonders in here. We'll get satellites soon and then we'll find out. That goes to Rio for sure. Are we at maximum number of trade routes? Yes, we are. We've still got all of these allies. We haven't had to do any work to keep the allies for a while. That's patronage doing work for us. Uh, we can give away these truffles, can we? Not to America. Let's trade them to Sweden where we can get gold for it. 200 gold. Horses. Horses. And then the turn before we need to do this World Congress stuff, we'll make sure to be aware and declare war on all AI civs to make sure that we've got enough votes to get through. Okay, write it down. Okay. Bob that. Five turns left for the next tenant. Let's get ourselves a nice trading post for that city-state as well. Okay, who wants horses? Sweden has been paying good rates for them. And they continue to do so. No real quest apart from that natural wonder. We're going to get satellites in six turns, and then we'll actually buy an engineer perhaps, and then we'll get that quest for Malacca as well. I mean, how long for the next 21 turns for a scientist or nine turns for an engineer? Okay, how much for a, a merchant? 12. So let's actually take that out and work the factory slot. Not a lot else we can do without kind of super starving ourselves. Maybe this though. 69 turns to starve, that's fine. We've got a little bit of extra science now and we're going to generate an engineer in six. That's just going to be sooner than the scientist, and we'll save up for a scientist purchase, which is going to be in 12 turns there. And then we'll get two from Hubble, and we'll use the engineer 
to engineer out Hubble and get that quest down. Uh, how many turns for the World's Congress? No, we don't want to sell these truffles. That's totally rubbish. World Ideology Freedom. He will vote for that. Okay. You're probably going to vote for it anyway, right? World Congress. World Ideology Freedom. Yes. Two gold return and open borders. We'd like to do three or something or four. No. Four. Okay. We're going to get another vote for World Ideology Freedom. I mean, he was always going to do that. But I guess we've got spare truffles. So we'll take 200 gold. Or oh, not. Cool. Big Ben in two. Four turns for another artist. Not really a lot for us to do right now. Let's make sure to get these quests down. We've still got 14 turns until the next world leader vote. So that will be us done on turn 193. If it goes that far. You never know, we might do all the scientist parts or something yet. <laughs> I don't think we will, there's too much science that we need. It's still 11 turns for nanotech after all. So we're not, we're not doing science unless all these research agreements come in clutch, but you know, they're still a long way away. Yeah, the rest of our research agreements set in further into the future than when we win the World's Congress. No, nope, still no natural wonder. We're going to get satellites and find it. We, we need to see where this is. Because I really don't know right now. We built Big Ben though. It's a shame it wasn't desired by any city-states. We don't need the marble anymore. No more good quests apart from gold gifts. Engineer down there. New research agreement. Oh, we're being denounced. Okay. Well, this is fine. We should probably build some more army though. There goes Big Ben. So let's go build some more army. I think we wanted nuclear submarines now. Or should we build Apollo and just rely on purchasing an army if we need it? Anyway, highest gold is Berlin now. Not here. Very sleepy music we've got on in the background right now. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to build army. Really. We'll purchase an army if we need it. We've got 7,000 gold. Let's just build Apollo in case we need it. Oh, okay, we're being denounced as well. Both turns until the world leader vote. We've lost us. We've got an American queue in Almaty. Okay, well, let's buy Almaty back and we'll make sure that they don't have the capacity to do it again. 105, and then we'll gift them something. There's Almaty, not there. Almaty's moved up the ranks a bit, there. We'll gift them that composite bowman. And carry on. Is it in here? No. One turn for another social policy. I guess we take the space one just in case we need to use it, but I don't think we do. We're voting on our proposal soon, five turns. If we get world ideology through, we should be pretty insulated from losing a city-state ally. Okay, an artist in Venice. Let's bold that. Okay, so that's not there. Let's go around, see if we can find it in this cloud. Say this just in case we need the science victory. 12 turns to the next policy. We're clearly going to have enough if we needed to buy every part we can. And we're going to generate this engineer next turn. And that's the quest for Malacca. Okay, yeah. Uh, and then 7 turns for a scientist purchase with faith. We've got the engineer. And we found... Lake Victoria. Right there. Wow. So that's where the final natural wonder was. We were never going to find that. But look at that. That's such a bad location. You could settle like here for the fish in Lake Victoria. But there's not a single hammer to be found in this land. Apart from the oil. It's crazy. Well, I'm glad we found Lake Victoria finally. That's the last natural wonder. We'll get all of those quests through. Anyway. 
We're going to come here in Venice for the Hubble Space Telescope. And engineer it. Get trading post down. This caravel is not no longer needed. So this can get gifted to Antwerp. And uh, Cahokia needs something too. Let's give Cahokia this tri-ring. We can definitely still buy an army if we need to buy an army. Probably should get an airport in Venice. Three turns. Just so that we can have loads of bombers there. World Congress. Okay. Nine turns now. Three turns for World Ideology Freedom. We've got Hubble. We've got this. Double Medic. Let's gift it away to Sidon. Bold that. Wow, yeah. There's just not a lot of science in this at all. And we actually got gifted a Hussar as well. So we'll gift that away. And we'll gift them to Malacca. And then we got these cargoes going. That need to go to Damascus. And to Sigtuna. We should probably have built a... Oh, we built a seaport, did we? Probably one turn a bomb shelter up and get like an airport or something. We're going good. Three turns until we have the vote on world ideology, and then eight turns until this game ends, hopefully. We'll build Apollo. But yeah, we just don't have enough science at all to do science victory, even if you wanted it. It just goes to show, actually, how much science you need and why five cities is just so good. On, like, one city with scholasticism, we got 740, which is actually an amount that you can get on, like, a three-city empire. And we are just nowhere near... Nowhere near a science victory. I mean, we've got globalization, which is one tech we don't need, but we've got combined arms, computers, robotics, nanotech, particle physics, and mobile tactics that would have been needed. Oh, Brazil lost its capital. That's not good. We need to put our diplomat into someone whose capital is actually safe. Like Berlin. Diplomat. By fled city capture. We've got another research agreement come through, though. This was going to where? Iced gold. It's going to a city-state something, was it? I can't tell. What's the best trade route we can possibly get? Oh, it's because someone someone lost their capital. It's Venice to Tokyo right now. And then it's Venice to Medina. And then Venice to Salvador. So let's send this to Venice. Sign delegates 36 for World Ideology Freedom. That should hopefully insulate us against losing a city-state ally. And then highest gold is Tokyo. And then this was also going somewhere. So we need, we're going to get Venice to Medina and then it'll be Venice to Salvador. No to open borders. No AI is anywhere near close to tourism, are they? Bye. No, the highest is 122 from Arabia. We've got 17 happiness. Still golden aging with our 660 gold per turn. World, ideolo World Ideology Freedom Passes. That's brilliant. This is actually highest gold to Essen now. And Salvador. Or Salvador. So up to 725 gold per turn. We are six turns away from the World Leader Proposal. And we've got a one vote buffer. So we just need to keep our eye out. When it's, I guess, one turn away. Or two turns away or something. We'll give our way a load of gold and declare war on everyone. Just to make sure we've got all of the allies. And hopefully we'll not get killed over two turns in order to win the game. <laughs> but it's fine, we'll purchase an army or something. If it has to be that way. More gold. Medina. Musician. I made a deal with Washington that ended. No need to do that again. We're going to get our airport next. Oh, yeah, sure. Make this guy love us for a bit. We are all the way up to nearly 12,000 gold. So that would be enough for science victory, but we haven't got the technology. Revolution, the Iroquois, they forced their leader to adopt freedom. Yes. Okay, combined arms. That's kind of cool, that revolution. I like it. We're done with the airport now. Now we just need army. To secure ourselves. Maybe another nuclear submarine. Let's purchase one. 
You make use of Big Ben. I said. Start stacking some army to make sure we won't die. A couple of nuke subs would be enough to make sure that nothing can take the city, though. 75 bonus when attacking. Still got all these city states as our ally. We've only got 140 in Antwerp. Which means we need to do something. We should buy marble again. And last of desires a trade route. So we should send that if we can. So let's see if we can buy marble off anyone. We can buy them off the Iroquois. So we can give him truffles. And you know, a few gold per turns. 18 is it? Yep. That gives us the marble. We now need only three turns. We're up to 39 votes. We've got this nuke sub. Got another scientist. Gets us another four turns through computers. And we're going to get a great merchant next. Oh, we didn't want to give away that oil. We wanted to save it to be able to buy bombers, but we've got 29. Okay. So we're two turns out. Which means we should probably just give away some gold and declare war on everyone with our city-states. Marble connected. We've got another nuclear submarine and our golden age ended. Okay. So, what do we need? Some bullying needs to be done there. Some trade routes need to be done here, but we won't be able to get those. There's actually quite a few that want trade routes right now. Thousand. Just keep giving thousands to like the lowest one. And we'll, we'll do it for about five of them or something. Maybe until everyone's over 200. Still got a bit of gold. That's quite a lot. How many have we got here? 201 influence with these guys. Let's give that up. So now our lowest influence city state is actually 208. I don't think the AI will be able to take these off of us. We'll wait until next turn though. Okay, we built a nuclear submarine. Let's just get another one. And then we'll declare war on everyone next turn. Thirty-nine votes, thirty-seven needed to win the world leader proposal. We just got something. I think there's a trade route that finished. Some wars have been done. We've got computers finally. Imagine that we've got the internet, but we didn't have computers. That's kind of fun. We need to send a trade route to one of these city states that desires it. The lowest influence one is actually Larsa right now. So away we go. Where is Larsa? 22 gold per turn, that's fine. And then it's one turn to the World Zeta proposal. We've got 39 votes. So, America? Well, war. Iroquois. War. Germany. War. Sweden. War. Arabia. War. I was going to almost war ourselves. And Brazil. War. Sorry, AIs. We are all at war now. So, in turn. Just make, hopefully a city-state doesn't get like captured. That would be ironic, wouldn't it? If we got one of our city-states captured by doing all of this war. Oh, look at that. There's the American Navy. It swooped up on us straight away. No city-states died yet. we still got them all. We've had all of our trade routes plundered. What wealth next in the city? Apparently, the city states are having all having their turns. I assume because they're all attacking the AI now. World leader, thirty-four delegates remaining. Our one got captured. Wow, really? Who died? Oh, we put all of our we put all of our diplomats out. Lol. Whoops. Well, I do not fancy sticking around for another twenty turns for that world leader proposal. That's such an F, isn't it? That's really such an F. Well, fine. You can see I don't do diplomatic diplomatic victories very often. <laughs> yeah, we needed all those diplomats. 
Okay, cool. In that case, all of this stuff ends, and we just give away the rest of our gold. Thousand. 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 And there we go. Okay. So that will be the end of this game. After that quite embarrassing turnaround. Poke ya. Okay, well, let's continue to be friends. Wealth. Not too far away from the science victory in the end, actually. Probably could have got there with another 20 turns, perhaps. Don't know. No, we could have got there with 20 turns, actually. We're doing a long way away. Maybe, actually. We've got some research agreements to come down. But... The world leader proposal, done properly this time. 39 votes for Venice. And we got this nuke sub. Okay, let's have a look at the Empire. Prague, Kathmandu, Venice. Kathmandu actually grew a bit. We're sorry this has caused a divide between us. We can accept that trade for the oil now. And this looks to be a turn 194. Five? Turn 195, diplomatic the victory is Venice. The so that's how it's done. Your cunning and wisdom the Venice Diplo victory. Friends, and 32 population in Venice. Not particularly the biggest capital ever. Forever will but you be remembered as the and we can have a look at some of these graphs and stuff. Not the biggest capital ever, but insane gold per turn. We finished the game at plus 704. Which is pretty crazy, actually. Like, plus 704 gold per turn. Seems ludicrously ridiculous, but I guess that's what 16 trade routes all going out for gold mean. I mean, I think we sent a bit of production to Venice, right? But then everything else just went away for gold trade routes. So that's pretty crazy. We did this on an archipelago map, the Venice archipelago. Pretty classic, really. So we had our Venice here in the top left corner. We had no one anywhere near us. Like, if we'd actually gone normal and been able to settle cities, we would have been able to found a bunch. Like maybe one, two, three, four cities we could have even founded, something like that. You know, gone up to four or even five city on archipelago. Because we get one on our island and then we can found a couple on other islands. So that's like four cities. We might have even gone for a fifth and gone for something like five city Venice. Well, not five city Venice, five city anyone else. But we were Venice, so we couldn't found any cities. But we did take a couple of city states instead using Venice's ability. If we look at the demographics, we were actually top science. Like we would have easily ran away with a science victory if we chose to roll with that. But we went for the diplomatic victory anyway, just to end it quickly. Not a lot of production, not a lot of crop yield, not a lot of science. Our final science per turn was actually 837, which is really good. But most of that's coming from our city-state allies. And you can just see how 800 science is just not enough to get a science victory in any reasonable amount of time. I mean, we had so many research agreements, city-state allies, scholasticism. We milked everything we could. And even then, our science victory was probably still, I don't know, 15 turns away, 20 turns away, something like that. Probably needed to get one more scientist in order to actually make it. Which, you know, it's quite a lot, really, if you think about it. So, you know, in the end, we got here. The turn 195 diplomatic victory is Venice. So it's the first diplomatic victory for the channel. Probably won't see too, too many of those because it's quite difficult to claim all the city-states, especially on standard map size, where we had to take down 13, six city-states. City well, one city-state got unfortunately killed and we Veniced two more. We have a look at the graphs quickly. Here's our Venice graph. We actually weren't lowest in score by the end of the game. That's because I think Brazil lost their capital at the end or something. So we had to quickly move our diplomat for that, but they did lose their capital. In terms of food per turn, we didn't have a lot again. I mean, we can actually see that spike up. That is civil society from freedom right in there. You know, that's just how good civil society is. That's, you know, we've got a load of food spiking up there. Gold per turn is Venice. We actually did have the most gold per turn. Is, you know, there's not a lot of times when you have more gold per turn than the AI. But as Venice in the late game, that's definitely one of them. Once we started doing 15 trade routes for gold. We had a good amount of golden age turns this game. Plenty of happiness. We didn't really have happiness troubles. Apart from in the early mid game where we just kind of struggled after venicing those city states down. Never built any military. Or did we, have, we did have some at the end. A few bombers and some nuke subs and things. Number of cities. Yeah, we got to three. 
So it's not full OCC, but three cities. Number of known techs. Yeah, we can see we went way in the lead of the AI there. So the AI was never going to win science victory. They were never going to win culture victory. They were never going to win diplomatic victory. So we were going to eventually win a science victory anyway. And then number of known policies. We actually had the third most social policies. That's something you get as one city challenge. The thing about culture is that the more cities you found, the slower your culture goes. Because you can't, you can't get more culture out of those extra cities to make up for the increase in social policy costs from founding an additional city. Whereas more cities is always better for science, more cities is always worse for culture. The only time when culture is actually good by founding more cities is those first initial four cities as tradition with, what's it called? The, the Monuments Policy. I forget the name of it now, actually, the Monuments Policy. I just always take it. Might be legalism. With the, with the Monuments Policy and tradition, because in the early game, you actually, the amount of science for the next social policies and stuff is so low that when you found a new city and get the immediate monument, you actually increase your culture generation rate more, well, you know, more than the amount that the social policies goes up. So you actually get through tradition faster by founding four cities. It's then everything after tradition which slows down when you go four cities as opposed to three or two or one. But as a one city Venice, we found it very easy to claim social policies. We took four in patronage, one in commerce, all rationalism, all tradition, and six in our ideology. So we've got plenty of social policies in the end. Our population, we only got pop 32 in Venice. You often think about if you go for one city challenge, you'll get loads of population in your capital. But actually, that's not particularly easy to do. You know, we worked every food tile we possibly could in Venice. We sent it two coastal coastal trade routes, and we still only got to pop 32 with freedom. So that just kind of, just kind of goes to show, really, again, more cities is always better because... You just can't grow your capital more than about that far. So if you want to get more population, you need to just get more cities down. So getting Kathmandu and Prague were okay for that, although Prague never even built his research lab. We could have purchased one there, I, ex I expect, but we weren't going for science, so we didn't need to. And that was population, production per turn. We actually had decent production coming, of our, coming out of our capital in the end. It was a bit of a ropey situation throughout, probably until the moment we got factories. And then once we had factories out, we were all good from then on. And then our science per turn, we were actually one, two, three, four. We were fifth in science out of eight civs, which is pretty cool. We were probably teching perhaps the fastest, not entirely sure. We had a total goal. We managed to stack our 12k before burning it all over the final turn. And then we had our maximum number of work tiles, which did what they did. So there we go. There is a one city challenge victory as Venice. We did unfortunately have to, well, re-roll that one right at the very death because we forgot about the diplomats, but we would have easily won that as science anyway. You know, the American Navy that came in was not a problem. We could have stayed at war with everyone. Science victoried or, you know, even diplomatic victoried after waiting 20 turns. That war really wouldn't have been a problem, not with nuclear submarines. So, you know, this was going to be a one city challenge victory either way. None of the AI were even close to winning another victory condition. Um, but this just goes to show you can do it on turn 195 as Venice. Perhaps there's an even faster way to do it. We got off to a bit of a slowish start. But it wasn't the worst science game in the world. We got 32 pop. We ended up on 800 science with all of those city state allies. So, not a bad game overall, but there we have it. Deity, Archipelago, standard map size, Venice. One city, two annex cities with the Merchants of Venice, well, Merchants of Venice, victory. So, thank you very much for watching, everyone who's on the stream today. Uh, I think there's seven viewers in right now, so thank you very much for watching the seven viewers. This will be the end of the stream. We played some multiplayer early on. We unfortunately kind of had to scrap a game that we definitely, I mean, we were definitely in first position for. And I feel like we were probably going to sim our way to victory in that. But we kind of had to scrap again because everybody else just wanted to give up. I mean, I could have been the one guy who says no to scrap, which is a bit weird. So maybe they should have all just conceded to me. I mean, as, for all intents and purposes, like we were clearly ahead. It's about as close to a concede as you can get without getting a concede, I guess. So you know, we're, we're in head with that multiplayer game, but we weren't able to eke the win out in the end just because... Everyone else wanted to scrap, so much for like a no-quitting Discord. I don't know why everyone turns up for that game if they're then going to all go scrap it. Especially because there were two players that were just sim sitting that seemed to want to scrap for some reason. And then we went away, we played this game, our Venice One City Challenge Diplomatic Victory with 700 gold per turn. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next time for the next stream. Oh, and anyone who's watching on YouTube, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to like it if you liked it, it really helps the channel out a lot. Um, if you want to see more, you know, get alerts for more of our content, hit the subscribe button. And if you've got any comments about this game, do put them in the comments description below. Particularly if you've got any Fs, you know, 
going around that, you know, that that what was supposed to be the final turn that wasn't. We'll just say that. If you got any Fs for that, that'd be kind of cool. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later.